look. I see you all are on early. Like, let me get my spot. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. We are about to kick off the call in just a few minutes. I see Rob and Power Trader, Dr. Simone in the house, Marshall, Monica, Slick, David, the early bird gets the money. <laughs> Grace, Jay Thomas, Troy, D'Angelo, Charmaine, all the way from Florida, Roosevelt, D'Angelo. I see you all. I see you all. Wayman and Laura, welcome to the call. So we are going to get things kicked off in just a few minutes and we have some exciting news a special guest some of you probably heard so stay on till the end grab your snacks grab your wine grab your coffee because this is going to be an action-packed training baby <laughs> we'll get started momentarily Thanks for being on time, people. We are getting started momentarily. Go ahead and text a team member and remind them about the call because we are going to have a special guest at the end. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Hey guys, how is everybody doing today? How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here in Atlanta. So I hope it is gorgeous where you gorgeous are. Gorgeous here in Florida. Awesome. And it is always gorgeous in Florida, right? So let's yeah. get started, guys. We are about to get started. So I'm about to play something for you while before we get started, while you guys get your water, your coffee, your books, your pens, get ready to start because we have an action-packed day. All right. So I see people are still jumping on. So we're going to give them a minute to jump on. Um, so just go ahead, start typing energy in the chat. Let us know you are ready. Type where you're from and we are going to get started in a minute. So I'm excited for today. It's going to be a good day, guys. You sing for me, Thank 
Texas, Dallas, Atlanta, SoCal, yes, oh, it's beautiful, San Diego, Texas, okay, guys, we got all over the world here today, so we are about to get started, um, 82 on, we know we're going to be getting some more, but before we start, guys, you know, we always like to start with a positive word, and today, it says, before you invest in something, invest time to understand it. And this, I think, is big. This can be, you know, used in all aspects of your life. So for men, women, if you, you know, you don't just see somebody on the street and go say, hey, I want to get married, let's go, right? You take the time to understand them, to get to know that person. So it's the same thing even in trading. You have to understand it. You have to understand the market. You have to understand how everything works before you just go in and jump on your live account. So you don't just start today, say, hey, you know, live account, here I come. No, you have to take the time to understand. You have to take the time to learn. You have to take the time to, to really read the market and learn it, understand it, see what it's, what it's going on, learn the ups and downs, um, because that will make you a more profitable trader, which is all, what we all want in the end. Rochelle, do you agree with this? I know you got something to add to this. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I always say, you know, the market strategy itself is like the the trunk of the tree. There's so many other branches that you have to, you know, still learn and implement into your trading, um, you know, to for to reach a certain level of success that you're looking for. So yeah, make sure that you're putting in the time and energy to really master the craft. Awesome! Awesome! And it is great to see you guys. For those of you who have your camera on, hello, welcome, welcome. It is another beautiful Saturday. I am excited to see all the faces. You guys know I'm always excited. I am always excited. I come with a ball of energy. I don't know where I get it half the time, but <laughs> I come with all this energy and I get more excited every time I see your faces because it makes me know that you guys are enjoying this class you guys you know are getting what we're trying to share with you and hi leticia how are you <laughs> you were so deep in what you were doing <laughs> hey d <Deanne. laughs> yeah i was you know <laughs> so welcome guys welcome, welcome. <laughs> I am glad to see each and every one of you. I'm glad that you guys are full of energy and ready to learn today. So I know we have a lot of new people on. So if this is your first week, second week, third week, 
go ahead and put a one in the chat because we want to know who we're speaking to. Um, so that way, because we try to break it down to everybody, right, on all levels. So we want to make sure that each and every one of you are getting this message and we're not speaking and it's not going over anybody's head. So we just always want to break it down and see who's on here, who our audience is, who we're speaking to. All right, so we have a lot of new people on here. So welcome to the team, welcome to Market Breakers, welcome to the family, because this is a family. We act more like a family than, than, you know, than just team members. We always say that nobody's left, left behind, right? Nobody's sitting at the table looking at anybody eat. So nobody stays hungry. So we all want to make sure each and every one of you succeed in this um, mm -hmm. and that you're getting the best thing. So welcome, welcome, welcome all you new guys. All right. So today we want to start off with something that we um, normally start off with. And I always say, if you can't count your money, if you can't count pips, you can't count your money. So we just want to go through that one more time because I always feel that every time we speak about this, somebody's always getting something new from it, right? Um, no matter how many times you go through something, there's always something new that you catch in there. And then remember, guys, repetition is key. The more you see it, the more you hear it, the more you learn it. So that is why we, we usually go through this because you know, again, even people who've been there for, for quite some time always ask the same questions. Well, how many pips should I catch? How many pips, um, what's my supposed to be? So we just want to make sure that everybody gets it. And guys, just go ahead. If you're new on here, just go ahead and um, mute out your phones so that way we're not interrupted. Go ahead and mute out your phones, guys. No. As, she's going, as she's going through, guys, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the chat. Um, no. I'll be keeping an eye on them, you know, to answer any questions you might have. It also allows us to see where else, um, what other kind of trainings we can help you guys with uh, based on your questions. So uh, don't unmute yourself to ask the questions. We don't want people talking over one another. So just drop them in the chat. We'll be, we'll be paying attention to them. Awesome. Thank you, Rochelle. Okay, guys, so let's get it going. So this is our counting pips chart. All right, so we, we, we broke it down for you. We made it a little different. Um, and this one you can find, I know Miss Felicia drops it, dropped it in the Market Breakers chat. So if you are in that chat right now, if you are part of there, if you were elected to become a part of there, you can always find it in there. So let's go through it, guys. Count in pips in Forex. Count in pips in Bitcoin, gold, oil, et cetera, is different. Below is for Forex only. You need to know what currency pair you're trading. Any currency pair that includes the Japanese yen, the pips are counted differently. These would include pairs such as AUD, JPY, CAD, JPY, CHF, JPY, EUR, JPY, GBP, JPY, and USD, JPY, just to name a few. Okay. So, with currency pairs involved in JPY, use the first and the second numbers after the decimal point. And guys, I have this up. If you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this, go ahead and do that. Take a screenshot of it. Um, that way it's there and you have it on here. Um, so go ahead, guys. Take a screenshot if you can. Take a screenshot if you can. All right. So example one, you are trading USD JPY, okay? And you want to buy, all right? Remember when we say we want to buy, that means your entry is below, your take profits are above, which means your take profit number or value should be higher than your entry number. So you've determined you want 10 pips in profit, then automatically exit. You have calculated using proper risk management that you want a 10 pip stop loss. Your take profit would be 111.6 three. 
All right, and this is how, and you see right here, this is how we get it. We added 10 pips, so 111.533, right, plus 10, because remember, it's a Japanese, a Japanese yen pair, so you're using the first and the second number after the decimal point, which means your take profit will be 111.63. Your stop loss value, because you're calculated using proper risk management and you want 10 pips stop loss, your stop loss value would be 111.43. And how did you come up with that number? You subtracted 10. So 111. 0.533, right, minus 10 is equal to 111, wait, 111.43. <laughs> Added an extra one in there for you guys. All right, example number two, guys. You're trading USDJPY and you want to sell, okay? You want to sell. What does that mean? Your take profit is your, um, Entry is above, your take profits are below, which means you're going down. You're subtracting for your take for your take profit. That means your take profit value should be lower than your entry value. All right, you determine you want a 10 pips in profit, then automatically exit. You have calculated using proper risk management that you want a 10 pips stop loss. So your take profit value would now be 111.5. Or three, and this is how we came up with that number. Remember, you're subtracting 10 for your take profit, so your value would now be 111.43 because you subtracted 10 from 111.53. All right, and your stop loss value would be 111.63. Why? Because in order to get your stop loss, in a cell, you have to add 10. So remember, cell, your entry is above, your take profits are below, which means your take profit numbers need to be lower than your entry, which would then make your stop loss value need to be higher than your entry value, okay? And example number three with USDJPY. You want to buy. Your entry is 111.933. Okay, you've determined you want 10 pips in profit, then automatically exit. And you're, you calculated using proper risk management that you want a 10 pip stop loss. Your take profit value would be 112.03. All right, now this one is a little tricky because it, it, it's so close. So this is how you come up with the this number. Remember, it's a buy, so your take profit needs to be higher than your entry number. So 111.93, all right? You want to add 10 to that. Look, nine and three, zero, bring over the, ten, the, the one, one and one, two, one, one. So you just added 10 to that. So this is, it's basic elementary math, but this shows you how we get that response, that answer, okay? Because we added 10. Your stop loss value would be 111.83 because we subtracted 10 from that. All right, 111.93, subtract 10, you will get 111.83. Does anybody have any questions about this so far? Go ahead and type it in the chat. If you have any questions about this um, part so far, go ahead, type it in the chat. We want to make sure that everybody gets this section. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Type it up in the chat if you have any questions about that. Because we are monitoring the chat. Rochelle, any questions about this so far? I'm not looking at it right now. Uh, it's, nope. It's looking like everyone's pretty clear. All righty. That is great. Let's go down to example number four. You are trading AUD USD and you want to buy. Your entry price is one is zero point six six two zero seven. You've determined that you want to get ten pips in profit, then automatically exit. Somebody said they're confused. In the chat, somebody said they're confused. Oh, they're confused. Okay. I will go over that again. Thank you. 
Yeah, we're, we're going to be doing a few more examples, guys. So just um, try to follow along as, as best as you can as she goes through the examples. Um, it, but it should be getting clearer and clearer as you keep seeing it. And we'll break it down a little bit more for you. So just keep watching. And also, guys, if you've been in the academy um, for less than a week or you haven't gone through this part in the academy that's about counting pips, you might be a little bit confused. Okay, so if you're brand new and you haven't gone through the academy at all, you haven't gone through the video for counting pips, that might confuse you a bit. Okay, so make sure um, that you you go through these um, the academy videos because that is why it is so important um, to go through that then. Because if you're extremely brand new, guys, this information might just be over your heads. Okay, I just want to let you guys know this. If you haven't gone through the academy completely, this might be a little over your head and it might, you know, confuse you. But definitely go through the academy. Um, and once you see this and you, you go through the academy and explain and you, and you see that video plus this coupled with this, it makes it all the more clearer. Because um, that's why we do this again. Because a lot of times, even if people go in the academy, sometimes they're still confused. So this is just a supplement to that, that that's what we do um, for the team, just to make sure that you guys are clear on that. Okay, so let's go through example number three, all right? So you want to buy US, uh, wait, now I was on US, AUD, USD. You're trading AUD, USD, and you want to buy, okay? And in a buy, your entry is below, your take profits are above, that means your take profit number has to be greater than your entry number, okay? So your take profit number has to be greater than your entry number because you're buying, you're going up, all right? You've determined that you want 10 pips in profit and automatically exit. You've calculated using proper risk management that you want a 10 pip stop loss. Your take profit value would be 0 0.6630, okay? And this is how we come up with that number, 0 0.6620, because we're going to concentrate on the third and the fourth number after the decimal point. That is where your pips are. It's the, the first, the third, and the fourth number after your decimal point. You add 10 to that number, to those numbers, the third and the fourth. So you will come up with 0 0.6630, okay? Because 20 plus 10 is 30, all right? Your stop loss value, because now you're subtracting 10 from that third and fourth number, your, your, your stop loss value would be 66.10 because 20 minus 10 is 10, okay? Hope that's a little clearer. Now for the example number five, we have a cell. Your entry point is 0 0.66057. Again, one, two, three, four. Your third and your fourth number after your decimal point is what you're concentrating on, okay? You determine that you want 10 pips in profit, then automatically exit, and you want that you've calculated using proper risk management that you want a 10 pip stop loss. Your take profit value would be, okay? Remember 0 0.66057 plus 10 is 0 0.6595 because you added 10. I'm sorry, you subtracted 10, this is a cell. You subtracted 10 from 0 0.5, so how do you go? You said zero from five is five, one from zero, you go to the six, you took out one, you add it here. Now you say one from 10 is nine. Bring your five down, bring your six down and 0 0.6595. Okay, I hope that was a little clearer. Um, and again, remember it's, it's, it's basic math, but a lot of the times we get so confused when we do it. So again, it is a cell which means your take profit is your 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 entry is above your take profit is below so your take profit value needs to be less than your entry value 
So again, let's go through that. 0 0.6605, you're concentrating on the 0, 05. Minus 10, 0 from 5 is 5. 1 from 0, you can't. You go to the 6, you take 1, carry that 1 over, that makes 10. 1 from 10 is 9. Bring down your 5, your 6, and that is your response, and that is your answer. Okay? Your stop loss value now needs to be higher than your entry value because now you're going to add 10 to your entry in order to get your stop loss. So your entry was 0 0.66057. All right, so we add 10 to the 0 0.05 and that gives you 0 0.6615. Okay, so I hope that was clear, guys. Rochelle, do we have any questions? Anything um, I need to go so I, I know I understand we have a few people in the chat who are a little uh, confused about what they're seeing. Um, again, yes, if you're still going through the academy, that's what's going to happen. But if you want to jot down some notes right now, um, a few things to try to put some emphasis and help you understand what's going on here is when you get into the market for a buy, what you want to do is set a stop loss and to set your or your take profit. You want to set your take profit, you're going to be adding pips okay so in a buy to set your take profit you are going to add pips okay so that's when you're entering the market into a buy you want to set your take profit by adding pips and that's the price you set your take profit to now to set your stop loss because remember something else that we we will constantly be doing training on is risk management so you will always um want to use a stop loss as your safety net so when you get into the market for a buy your stop loss you're going to subtract the pips to set your stop loss price okay so that's what you are seeing her do in these examples she's showing you how to calculate to get your take profit and your stop loss by adding or subtracting pips okay so in a buy to set your take profit you add pips to set your stop loss, you subtract pips. Vice versa, if you're in the, if you're getting into a trade for a sell, to set your take profit here, you will subtract because the market is, you're looking for the market to go down. So you are looking to subtract your, your pips in a sell to set your take profit. And then you add pips to set your stop loss. So it's just flipped but it can get a little bit confusing for people um, at the beginning. So this is why we're constantly doing trainings on how to count your pips with these um, examples um, that Deanne just went through. Awesome, thank you, Rochelle. I'm hoping that clarifies a little bit um, for you guys, but repetition is key. As you guys go through the academy and we continue on these trainings, eventually it's gonna click and you're gonna do just fine. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, this was really counting pips. And again, you know what they say, if you cannot count your pips, you cannot count your money. So that is why it is so important um, when you're counting pips. Okay. It's so important to learn, um, to learn how to count your pips. All right. So now we're going to go into um, another, another screen that it is Again, it's so important um, to, to, to learn and to understand, and that is lot sizes, all right? It is very, very important that you guys understand your lot sizes, all right? So you guys can see this chart. Awesome. So... And Michelle and I will go through this one. So the first thing you want to you want to know is how much money is in your account. Okay, how much money is in your account? If you have a hundred dollars in your account, your lot size should be zero at a point zero one. Okay, so this is the rule of thumb. So you want to write this down, guys. For every hundred dollars in your account, your lot size should be increased by point zero one. Okay. So for every $100, you can add a 0 0.01, all right? So we start off with $100, your lot size is 0 0.01. What does that equate to in dollars? 
that equates to 10 cents per pip. All right. So if you enter a trade and you say you want 20 pips, all right, 20 pips at 0 0.01 lot size, and each pip is 10 cents, then 20 pips will give you ten um two dollars. All right. If you got 40 pips off of a trade, that equates to four dollars. All right. Now, if your lots, if you now your your account increases to two hundred dollars, then you can increase your lot size to point zero two, which is twenty cents per pip. Okay. Um, and for twenty pips, let's just say you go get to a train and you have twenty pips, that equates to four dollars um, for your twenty pips. If you got forty pips, it's eight dollars. Sixty pips, it's twelve dollars. Now, if it's 300, okay, now that equates to 0 0.03, 400.04. .04. So as you guys can see, for every $100, I am increasing my lot size by 0 0.01. All right, so for every $100, I am increasing my lot size by 0 0.01. Now I'm at $900, I have 0 0.09. If I have a a thousand dollars in my account now my lot size now is 0 0.10 now nobody should be um should be trading at a 0 0.10 lot size if you have less than a thousand dollars in your account all right rochelle do you want to add anything onto this um, I feel you explained that very clearly. Make sure um, to drop any questions you have. Um, my input on it is um, making sure, especially if you're new to the academy, making sure you understand how important this aspect of it all is, setting the correct lot size. This is all part of your risk management strategy, and you have to be disciplined with it. So it's very easy because you can have $100 in your account and the fact that you can just go ahead and change your lot size to a higher lot size, you end up over leveraging and this is how a lot of new traders blow their accounts. So if you're trying to avoid blowing live money, make sure that you start practicing, you know, self-discipline with setting the correct lot size in your demo accounts because once you're in your lab, you won't be able to make over leveraging mistakes and things like that. So just put into consideration in the forefront at the top of your list, aside from a market strategy, your risk management strategy is very, very important. So as a new trader, just jot that down at the forefront of all your notes to master and be disciplined with your risk management. And that'll save you from a lot of heartbreak and blowing lots of money. <laughs> so um, I think Deanne explained that extremely clear. Um, the, when it comes to setting your stop loss, um, you have to know the type of lot size that you've set your, um, your trade to. And you have to understand and already set ahead of time how much money you are willing to risk on that trade so um, part of being a successful trader is making sure you have a trade plan so at right before you execute a trade you should already know the dollar amount you are willing to risk once you have that set in place you're going to divide that dollar amount that you are willing to risk so if i'm willing to risk five dollars out of my hundred dollars that i have i'm going to divide my five dollars by the dollar amount of my lot size and by that, I mean, if I'm using a 0 0.01 lot size, I'm going to divide my $5 by the dollar amount of that lot size, which is 10 cents, okay? So that could be a little confusing as well because although you're using a 0 0.01 lot size, it looks like um, you know you would divide it by a penny, but that's not correct. You want the, the dollar amount of the pip, like the value per pip is going to be 10 cents. Okay, so I'm going to divide my $5 by the 10 cents. And by doing that, I'll get 50. And that tells me that's how many pips I'm going to set my stop loss to. So if I'm in the market for a buy, I'm going to subtract 50 pips from my entry point. 
and that's going to give me the, the the stop loss price to set my trade to okay so understanding this understanding how to count your money these are all different like i said the different branches of the tree okay so make sure that you guys understand how to calculate your stop loss as well so i'm going to give you guys that formula one more time for the uh, stop loss you want to write down the dollar amount you are willing to risk divided by the dollar amount of your lot size so the value per pip and that will equal how many pips you should set your stop loss to whether you're adding or subtracting okay let's see if you guys have any questions about that about your lot sizes you know the value per the lot sizes anything like that Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Rochelle. I love, I, I'm telling you guys, the way that she explains that, that, that formula that she gives you, you guys should have definitely written that down. So I hope somebody took note of that, um, that formula that she gave you, because it is going to help you tremendously. So make sure you guys took note of that. So guys, if you find value in what we're saying so far, I need you guys to light up the chat. Let's see. Light up the chat, guys. If you find value in that light up the chat. And if you guys are already in the Telegram group, Ms. Felicia did post that in there. If you are not in the Telegram group and you are new, there is a process, okay? There is a process. Get with your upline, um, the person who signed you up, and they will tell you what the process is in order to get into that, um, that chat um, before you get elected into that, that group. So make sure, um, for those of you who are new, get with the person who signed you up and that way they will be able to explain the process of you getting into that telegram group because um you you know after certain days you will get elected into that group so get back with that person thank you rochelle can you repeat that formula for them one more time guys write it down oh yeah uh the formula formula is the dollar amount you are willing to risk divided by the dollar amount of your lot size and that equals the number of pips to set your stop loss to. So if you're willing to risk, if you wanna write down an example, if you're willing to risk $5 at a 0 0.01 lot size, you would divide that by 10 cents. Okay, so that's five divided by 10 cents equals 50. And I'm going to add or subtract 50 to set my stop loss. Awesome, awesome. And for those fast typers out there or writers, if somebody wants to just um, throw that in the t in the chat. Oh, thank you, David. <laughs> See, this is why we win this teamwork. So this is why I'm so proud of this team. This is why I love this team. Because <laughs> before we even ask, somebody already put it in the chat. So thank you, Mr. David. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So guys, I am going to unshare this. All right, and we have some nuggets to drop. Rochelle is going to drop some nuggets because a lot of the times um, something that we've each and every one of us have done and still does is get out of a trade early. All right. This is something that every single one of us does or has done, still do, <laughs> however you want to put it, guys. So I am going to unshare my screen and Miss Rochelle, go ahead and take it away and drop that, those nuggets that you have on there. Let them, you know. Let, them, let, them, let it marinate in there because <laughs> so um one thing i wanted to talk about was the question of getting out of trades too early when should i get out of it when should i pull out of a trade um can you guys hear me i want to make sure you guys can hear me because yeah, oh, sure. okay awesome 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 so um when to get out of a trade like, should I pull out of this trade? Like what I feel like that's something that um a lot of new traders struggle with, right? So this question is very psychological because really what it comes down to, if you guys have read trading in the zone um, or any other like uh, trading psychology books, you're gonna realize that one of the main things they put emphasis on is taking responsibility for your trade. And by that, you know, 
it means you have to be willing to accept the potential loss that you are willing to take with this trade, okay? So you have to be comfortable with your stop loss. If I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna risk $5 out of my 100 on this trade, I'm comfortable with that $5. I'm going to set my stop loss and because I'm comfortable with that $5, that that's my risk I could potentially take, you have to accept it and move on to the next trade or you know, set your take, take profit obviously and let the trade ride. Um, that's the point of having a stop loss. So I think it's important for you guys to trust the process. If you guys are following the strategy on point with everything that you've learned in regards to our strategy in the power of five, trust the process and be comfortable with your trade. The fact that you're questioning um, whether or not you should be pulling out of a trade, that just shows you're uncomfortable with, with, the, with the trade that you executed. So if you're not confident about the trade, then you shouldn't be making the trade. So have confidence in the process. If you have questions, make sure that you're hopping on our Wednesday night trainings for the power of five, um, because we get very into depth um, with our strategy and show you guys all these little tips and tricks on how to get stronger using the strategy. The stronger you get using the strategy, the more confident you're gonna be hopping into trades and you're not gonna feel like you have to pull out of trades if you see it um, pulling back a little bit or something like that. Um, because that's another mistake that a lot of people make. They get too much in their heads and um, they see a pullback and they're quick to pull out. And then right after they pull out, it goes into profit. Um, so we just have to try to wrap our heads around that, taking responsibility for our trades, accepting the risk that could potentially come with the trade. Um, but at the end of the day, we are confident with the trade that we executed because the strategy that we use works. And I followed it, every single rule that goes into the strategy. You need to be confident about the trade that you're making. Um, so that's just a little bit of information I have on that. Um, I don't know if you have any thoughts or ex experiences, Deanne, you know, what pulling out of trades too early. <laughs> of course, of course, we always have experience with experiences with that. So guys, it is just so important to trust the process. I cannot tell you guys how many times, all right, especially at the beginning that I have jumped into a trade, I see it pull back, I wasn't sure about it, or I didn't really analyze it, and what happened? I said, you know what, I'm jumping out of this trade, it was in the net red for way too long, it, it, you know, it went down a little, I'm just going to take my loss and jump out, okay? And I kid you not, I've done that so many times, and the next candle after I've done that, guess what happens? It either goes all the way down or it goes past my tape profit every single, it never fails. And then what do I do? I start pulling out my hair. I'm like, ah, I should have, I shouldn't have done this. Why didn't I just stay in this yeah. trade? I'm so stupid. Like I literally berate myself because I know better, right? But that is what happens. And that is why it is so important to have a positive mindset, to be able to be confident to be confident when you jump into a trade. And that confidence comes with you analyzing the trade, making sure that you know that you 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 you're comfortable getting into it, your risk, your risk tolerance, that you're comfortable with what you're risking, okay? Because that is that is also very important. Because if you're not comfortable with what you're risking, bam, you're going to jump out of the trade. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you're comfortable with your risk. Um, your risk tolerance. So that is very important. That is why a lot of the times we jump out when we see that 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 red go down a little, right? After it's been red, 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 it goes down just a little bit. And then we say, you know what? This is the furthest it's going to go. I'm just going to jump out of the trade. Not so. That is why we have to be comfortable with letting it go to your stop loss. Because whenever you enter the market, guys, you have already come in your head you're already saying, hey, if this does go back, right, I am okay with a loss because I have done the analysis. I have done the work. 
I am comfortable losing that amount. All right. So that is why your mindset before you go into the market is so important. So that is why we, we, we talk about this because this is just so important um, for every trader because every single trader, every new trader goes through it. If you say you haven't gone through it, you haven't experienced that, I don't know. God bless you because <laughs> your mind has got to be the strongest thing ever because I feel every single one of us goes through it. Every single one of us, we pulled up, pulled out earlier and then the trade goes in the right direction. But had we actually gone into this trade positively with the right mindset, with the right analysis, with the right risk tolerance, then we would have let the trade road on and um taken you know and and got and got your profits off of it okay so i don't know if mr boston is out there if he wants to add anything else to that mr boston are you ready are you here hey 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 good afternoon oh. fantastic hello 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 How are you today hey i see you know you ladies are, are really crushing it man uh you know i i, I do Sometimes it's just really good to sit back and, and hear those who are uh, that, that has locked arms and serve as literally, uh, you know, joined and, and, and really pouring into people. So if you know when you hear my voice on the call, what should, there you go, somebody already understood, what should the chat box say? What should the chat box say? There you go, come on, pump it up, pump it up, or else I'm just going to just mute my mic and go about my merry way, because I don't think y'all ready for what we got to give y'all. I don't think y'all ready. Let me make sure y'all see my face. Can y'all see me on this beautiful Saturday? It's Saturday, isn't it? Because I lose track of time. You know, when you're making money, you know, you kind of lose track of time, right? So I need to see energy in that chat box because these ladies have been really shutting it down. They really have been shutting it down and giving you guys some real great information. And I love it. I need to see that. I need to see that. A lot of energy in the chat box. And, and you should have your notes and your, your pen uh, to make sure that you are them taking notes, writing informations down. You guys gonna have a, get, a, get really a, a mindset blown today with the special guests that we have on the call. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm bringing on my boy, the big guns. We are bringing on some special guests on here and it's really gonna be a, a phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, just uh, overall look at the perspective of where we are at IM and where we're going and, and just the growth and, and you guys are in the right place, right? So, so the thing is, before I, before I dive into that, they were talking about uh, the, you guys, risk management. That's really overall what I'm hearing this whole topic is, risk management. And that really should be on the top of your list, risk management. Risk management. See, risk management is just it's life itself, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's life itself, risk management. That's what it is. So let me give you something, let me give you something really quick as for, for a winning trader. A quick uh, w a concept of winning traders, right? Five things, write it down. Five things as a winning trader that you want to really have. One, one, pay attention to pivot levels. Pay attention to pivot levels, right? P-I-V-O-T. Pay attention to pivot levels. Now, you're, some of you are asking, pivot? Well, come on, my scholars. You know what pivot means. Shift, movement, right? Pay attention to pivot levels. What am I saying? When you're looking at the market, all traders need to pay attention to the pivots in the market. You should pay attention to the pivots in the market. So remember that your analysis is key. We talk about this a lot, but I really want to hone in on this risk management because I think it was so key what Deanna and Rochelle was talking about. These ladies were giving you guys some real good nuggets on this, right? So pay attention to pivot levels. There's a movement to the market, right? Number two, number two, trade with an edge. Trade with an edge, E-D-G-E, -E. trade with an edge, okay? Some of you, again, you're over there saying, what is Boston talking about? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have to know what you're doing. You have to be ahead of what's happening. You have to know that you're going into a trade that is a winning trade. And the key is, is, no one can predict the market on its 100%, but you will know based on analysis. <laughs> based on analysis. So trade with an edge, right? Trade with an edge. And everyone, do me a favor. Please, um, 
please go right ahead and mute out. Please go right ahead and mute out. Please go right ahead and mute out for me. Mute out for me. Okay. Uh, uh, awesome, 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 awesome. Trade with an edge, okay? Number three, ladies and gentlemen, number three, preserve your trading capital. Preserve your trading capital. Okay? Preserve your trading capital. You're saying to yourself, okay, what is he saying? Well, I think you guys, that's just a simple math. That's simple. You should understand that. I don't think it's difficult at all for you guys to understand preserving your trading capital. Preserve your trading capital, right? You want to make sure that you're not reckless. This is why we're talking about risk management. You want to make sure that you're not wasteful. Okay? You want to make sure. Now, Deanne, Rochelle, just kind of move through Deanne and just mute anyone that um, is uh, unmuted, please, Deanne. Just mute anyone that's unmuted. I want no interruptions in this teaching right now. None whatsoever. So please, wisdom, mute your, your mic. Deanne, you should see it, or Rochelle, mute it for me, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, number four, simplify your market analysis. Woo! Simplify your market analysis. Simplify your market analysis, okay? You're talking about simplify your market analysis. A lot of you, you're probably saying, okay, well, Boston's saying simplify my market analysis. Well, don't have 20 different things that you're doing to analyze the market. No, you're wasting time. You wanna have minimal things that you're doing, but very effective. Minimal things that you're doing, but very effective, okay? So you wanna simplify your market analysis, all right? And number five, ladies and gentlemen, number five, play stops, and that's what they were talking about. Listen to this, play stops at genuinely reasonable levels. Hey. Play stops at genuinely reasonable levels. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't say Boston, don't call Boston, Boston, what should my stop be? No, don't call me. Don't call Rochelle either. Don't call Deanne. Don't call Letitia. Don't call Tori. No. Trading is, somebody finish that for me. Trading is what? What is trading? Type That's in the personal. Box. Trading is personal. There you go. Trading is personal. Trading is personal. If you are learning, if you are paying attention to the information in the academy, the information that is being given to you all the time, ladies and gentlemen, you will know. Because now you call Boston. Let's say, now we need to call Boston. Boston says, mm, based on this analysis, man, this is what you're trying to get? I would probably go a little bit over 50 on this trade. That's what Boston may have said. What do you mean over 50? Yeah, I'm gonna probably risk uh, a little bit over 50 uh, on this stop loss. So it's probably gonna be like a 55 pip stop loss. Now you did what Boston said, because you called Boston. And the trade, right? Listen to this. And the trade blew past 55. Now you call in Rochelle on the low or Deanne. I thought Boston knew what he was doing. I thought Boston knew what he was doing. See, because you're ready to blame. Not understanding that trading is personal. So your analysis, ladies and gentlemen, is what will get you to understand where you should be. If you understand that type I in the chat box, if you understand that type I in the chat box, if you understand that type I in the chat box, so write this down, write this down after you're done, write it down, write it down, write it down. How to manage your risk, how to manage your risk, how to manage your risk. See, risk management is the process, ladies and gentlemen, risk management, or sorry, risk management is the process of identifying analyzing and reducing risk in your, uh, in your trading decisions. So risk management is the process of identifying, analyzing and reducing risk in your trading decisions. And usually, which you hear these girls talk about all the time, it involves developing a trading plan. It involves developing a trading plan that will help you to decide what to trade. Ooh. 
developing a trading plan that will help you, all right, to decide what to trade, when to trade, and where to place your stop losses. Decide what to trade, when to trade, where to place your stop losses. So here are these tips. I'm gonna give you three tips on risk management. Three tips, three tips. Number one, assess risk versus return. Assess risk versus return. Assess risk versus return. Assess risk versus return, okay? Thomas, please mute your phone out, buddy. All right, good. So ladies and gentlemen, in general, trading strategies, right, focus on weighing up a trade's potential risk against the potential return. That's what trading strategies does. It's weighing up the trading potential risk against its potential return. So if a trade has greater risk, it should carry the chance of a greater return, right? To make the risk worthwhile. Are you guys with me? Is somebody with me? Is somebody with me? Am I talking to, to just some empty folks out here today? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good, good. Exactly, babe. Okay, now give, let me give you, let me give you an example, right? For example, right, you know, when, when, if you were like, let's say, for example, government bonds, they're considered a, a safe risk. Uh, let's just go with that, right? Um, they're low risk investment. But when compared to corporate bonds, they offer low rates um, of return. Give you an example, right? This is because, ladies and gentlemen, the risk of investing in a corporate bond is higher. Are y'all with me? The risk of investing in a corporate bond is higher. So to compensate for the added risk, investors are offered a higher rate of return. So I'm making sure you understand the risk, the factors of risk, right? Assessing the risk. Now, number two, number two, understand each market's risk. Understand each market's risk. Well, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, you're trading in the Forex market, the currency space. You're trading in the currency space. It is important. It is important to ensure you understand the factors that influences, right? Or that influence different markets. So you need to understand the factors that influence the foreign exchange market. You should write that down. You need to understand the factors that influence the foreign exchange market. In that way, you can base your dealing strategies or, 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 or jumping in the market on relevant information. Ooh, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. You will base your analysis on relevant information. So what does that mean, relevant information? What does that mean? What do we look at, Rochelle? What do we look at when we're trying to jump into a trade? What are, what are one or two of the things? Give me at least one or two of the things, Rochelle. What do we look at, relevant information that can affect our trade? What do we look at, Rochelle? Uh, we definitely take a look at the news, what kind of news could potentially affect the market, so Forex Factory. Um, and we also take a look at our currency strength meter so we can identify which currencies are stronger and which ones are weaker. Good, good, good. Did y'all hear that? Did you hear that? These girls are good. Market breakers, y'all lit. Market <laughs> breakers is on fire. You know what I mean? Market breakers is on fire. I need y'all to understand this is good. So these are things that we look at, right? These are things that we look at. So you want to assess what's relevant, okay? So you, because you want to improve your success rate by learning more about the market you're dealing with. You have to learn more about the market. This is why we constantly said trading is personal. Now, number three, number three, this is big. Keep learning. Keep learning. That's what number three is. Keep learning. Okay? See, learning to trade successfully while managing your risk is a continual process. I need somebody to have that. You should have that in bold. Learning to trade successfully while managing your risk is a continual process. Because some of y'all think this thing is, oh, well, I got this. Paul said, I got this. You know, why, didn't, why, do, why do I need to be here? I'm good. I went through the academy. I'm good, Boston. I got this. No, you don't. No, you don't. I've been trading for a long time. It's an ongoing process, ever evolving. This is why I'm Academy is so lit. 
This is why it's key to utilize the harmonic scanner. This is why it's key to be plugged in. It's key, ladies and gentlemen, because it never stops. So some of you ask these questions. So when can I stop? And I, I do one of those. Have you guys ever seen any one of the scary movies where the heads turn around? I do one of those when people say, so when can I stop? Oh, hold on. Well, you can stop at any time. There's no contracts. But how will you be trading? How are you going to have access to the harmonic scanner? How are you going to have access to the educational information? Ladies and gentlemen, you want to keep learning. It's an ongoing process. Now, if that makes sense, somebody type make sense in the chat box. If it makes sense, type make sense in the chat box. Okay? It's an ongoing process. And one of the best ways, ladies and gentlemen, of ensuring that you are always improving. Now, here's one of those best ways. Start a trading diary. Write it down. Start a trading diary. Start a trading diary. You should have it. Don't just have a diary about, well, you know, uh, naturally men start thinking only women should have a diary. <laughs> men say only women have, no. Fellas, you can have one too. A diary is not assessed to just a woman. And then it doesn't just assess to, well, oh, she just want to tell her story. It, it, you can have a diary for different things. This is not the journal. We talk in the diary. Tell your story. Well, you know, uh, I, I, I was never listening. And, you know, I met a lady, Don Million Dollar Wilson, chairman, and she told me about this trading game. And, you know, I saw that she was making money and I figured I knew about money too. She taught me that if the market goes up, you can make money if it goes to New York. She taught me if the market comes down to Miami, I can make money. And I decided that's all I needed to know. All of these things should be in your diary. And I, I discontinued and I went about my own business and I blew my 401k. It should be in your diary as well. And then I had to put my head down and call Don Million Dollar Wilson or call Deanne or call one of these young ladies or these gentlemen and I had to just confess and say, look, I was being in my own way. So now I have to get out of my own way. Are you guys with me? Are you with me today? Is this information good or good? Is this information good or good? Okay, I wanna make sure you guys understand this because the special guest today is gonna make this call so much fire. Woo, it's gonna be so good. So I wanna make sure that you guys understand this. See, by keeping track of which trades and strategy have worked in the past, you can build on your success and learn from your failures. I hope you heard that. That's what that diary is for. By keeping track of which trades and strategies have worked in the past, you can build on your success and learn from your failures. That is so good. I don't know about you all, but that is so good. See, right now, ladies and gentlemen, I really wanted to make sure you guys understand these, 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 these few key things when we start talking about risk management. When we start talking about risk management, you have to, one of the things you need to do, and you should write this down separately, plan, planning your trades, planning your trades. Are you guys planning your trades? Is anyone on this call, do you plan your trades? Planning your trades, are you guys planning? Is anyone, type it in the chat box. Do you plan your trades? Is anyone planning? I want to see you guys. Come on, people. I want to see us. A lot of folks on this call. A lot of folks on this call. I need the energy. Come on, people. Wind me up. Wind me up. Don't let me become, you know, Mr. Clear Eyes. And then, hello. I need to be wound up. Is anyone planning their trades? Are you guys planning your trades? Can you see? Listen, you have to plan. If you do not plan for success, you plan to fail. So you should be planning your trades, right? You should be planning your trades. Is anyone else considering, let, 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 me, let me break this down to you guys. When you plan your trades, here's one of the things I want you all to consider. You should consider, a lot of you said, I want to start my account with these exuberant amount of money. And ladies and gentlemen, trading is personal, so you can. So you can do what you feel you need to do. What we recommend is different, right? What the statistics and certain facts is from what has happened is what we recommend, right? So I wanna make sure that you guys are with me and, and we're on the same page, right? I wanna make sure that we are on the same page. Now we talked about, when we talked about planning your trades, 
we talk about the risk management, right? So, so what are one of the things in that before I jump into this other portion, right? What we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, if you're planning your trade, the concept of risk management, it can also help protect the trade account, right? From losing all of your money, right? When you're planning your trade. See, the risk occurs when a trader suffers a loss. The risk occurs when a trader suffers a loss, but it can be managed. It can be managed. You got to make sure as a trader, you do not open up yourself and allow that emotional behavior to take over. You have to make sure you don't open up yourself for that emotional behavior to take over. Remember, we talked about the concept of emotions and we talked about how emotions moves the market and you don't want to fall in that space of being an emotional trader. You want to be on the opposite side so that you can see beyond. So it is essential, okay? It is, listen, it is an essential but often overlooked prerequisite to, successful, to successfully active trading, right? So listen to this, right? After all, as a trader, when you're trying to generate a substantial profit, you have to understand proper risk management. You have to. If you do not understand proper risk management, then you're gonna lose every time because your approach to the market is gonna be wrong. You're gonna become emotional to the market when a trade is going the opposite way because you did not do the proper analysis as I mentioned, okay? As I mentioned. So I'm gonna give you another three things as we move this call along. I'm gonna give you some takeaways really quick. Uh, uh, it's really three takeaways as we move this call along. Trading can be exciting and even profitable if you are able to stay focused. Trading can be exciting and even profitable if you're able to stay focused. How? Do due diligence and keep emotions at bay. I'm just saying that to you guys. Do due diligence and keep emotions at bay. The next one is the best traders need to incorporate risk management practices to prevent losses from getting out of control. The best traders. This is what we do, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we do. We don't say that, well, because I've been doing this for so long, I can just do what I want. No, you must practice risk management. So the best traders needs to incorporate risk management practices to prevent losses from getting out of control. You're never going to win all the trades, but you're going to, you're, you want to win most of your trades. That's key. Okay. Now the next one is having a strategic, okay. An objective approach to cutting losses, having a strategic an objective approach to cutting losses through stop loss or profit taking through your stop loss or your profit taking and a protective process of closing out your trades. That's a smart way in this game, ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about having a strategic and objective approach of cutting losses. It simply means this. So a lot of you, you might say to yourself, okay, what is Boston talking about? Well, you're in a trade and the trade is going in the right direction. But if you are constantly looking at the pivot levels of the market, as I mentioned, when you do go back to analyze or look at your trade to see where it is, look and see what's happening with the market again. Because you might say, I need uh, 15 pips on this trade. The, the trade might be at 12. But because you are not paying attention to the pivot in the market, because you are not paying attention to the shift that's going on in the market, that greed monster came in or that lack of knowledge, because now you're, you're moving into that emotional space, where now you could have secured. Remember, we talked about a strategic and, a, and, a, and an objective way, right? So now you're going for 15, but you're at 12. You didn't look, you went to look at the trade and you're like, oh, good profit. I'm up $30. Your key is to secure 40. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a pivot going on that might tilt that market in a heavy pullback. And you're scalping. 
for the newbies, meaning you're going in, grab the bags and go. That's a quick movement. You're not swinging trades. So ladies and gentlemen, if the trade, if there's a pivot coming and you're already up 10 or 12 pips, what are you gonna do, Rochelle? What are you gonna do? Take your profit. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Get run. <laughs> right. Take your profit and run. Take your profit and run. See, some of you are so locked in to the number that you want. So this is your number. Everybody wants it so big. Anytime you ask somebody, have you ever asked somebody in, in the real set, hey man, John, listen, you and I right now, uh, if you had a chance to get some money, how much you want? Naturally, we go for the big number. Uh, uh, most of us, man, how much I want? Man, I want 100 million. <laughs> you know, we go for the big number, right? But let's be realistic because these are all the things I can teach you on risk management. Let's be realistic, people. Let's have realistic expectation, though we are aiming for a higher heights. Aim for a higher heights, but have realistic expectation. Is somebody with me? Is somebody with me? So you want to secure that profit. Now, here's the opposite. Here's the opposite. Remember, you're being strategic and objective. Should the trade go the opposite? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and you have watched the market and you realize this pivot is, oh, this is going to be bad. If you did your analysis, then ladies and gentlemen, you cut your losses. You cut your losses. There is no, that concept of, well, uh, it's going to come back. A lot of you like to do that. Oh, it's going to come back. No, it's not, it's going to come back. You could be in a position where your loss right now is $10. Some of you are in negative 10. The pivot is heavy. This looked like, oh, it's not, it's going to keep going down. Okay, you're in, a, you're, in a, you're in a bullish market. It's now saying bearish, so that means you're going up, right? But it's going down. Now you're at a negative 10, but it's not where is the pullback. This pullback turned into a different movement. It's a trend going down. A pivot happened, a shift happened. Something major economically just, okay? President decide to tweet, decide to engage with someone. Somebody major engage. Countries are, oh, a shift happened. Okay, and you're still sitting there. Well, uh, man, no, I'm, I'm, I'm now $15 in the hole and I, I, I think it'd be, now I'm $20 and, and I think it's gonna be, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you sat through that and watched your account go all the way to two, $300? That's right, two, 300 and negative because guess why? You already had an issue with being strategic and objective. So what is one of the first approach when you're approaching risk management and trading. What is one of the first approach? Be prepared and have the knowledge of what you're willing to risk and what you're willing to lose. Be prepared, know this, know that, look, I am putting in $100 in this market. I am willing to lose it all, but I will practice proper risk management so that I can grow that account by 3%, 2%, 5%, 10%, whatever it is, daily. But you have to be prepared. And it's an emotional preparation that will get you into a neutral space. Because you got to tell yourself. Because a lot of us say, no, I'm good. No, you're not really good. And then that $20 go, oh, I lost 20. <laughs> you got to be ready. You got to know. You got to say, well, look, this, this 100 didn't even exist. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to approach the market neutral. I'm going to analyze the market. I'm going to look at the market and see who is making emotional movements. And some of you are saying, what do you mean? Well, you can look at the patterns of the market and understand when emotions is in there. You can look at the pattern of the market and see when it's swayed. <laughs> this is why we, we analyze the market analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Market analysis. You must always do it. You must always do it, Okay. I want to make sure that you guys understand that. So this phase impl um, implies on planning your strategy. You know, I wanted to talk to you guys about that planning, planning your trades, planning those trades. How do you plan your trades? Listen, the key thing about planning trades, guys, right? You know, most of you might have, you, you, you know this saying, but if you don't, traders use, it up, use this uh, saying a lot because it's the, it's the general uh, 
uh, San Tzu, uh, who made this statement, the Chinese general, that every battle is won, right, before it is fought. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you should already know this, right? Every battle is won before it is fought. This phase implies that planning and strategy wins wars. It win, it win wars, okay? You guys should really write this down because traders use this a lot, right? Every battle is won before it is fought because you have to plan. Remember, I talked to you guys about if you don't plan, you're going to plan to fail. So you must plan. It is won because why? You're planning and you're using strategy. Similarly, successful trader commonly quote this, right? Plan to trade, write this down. Plan to trade, trade the plan. Write it down. Plan to trade, trade the plan. Plan to trade, trade the plan. Plan to trade, trade the plan. It's just like in a war. Planning ahead can often mean the difference between success and failure. That's what that does. Planning ahead means the difference between success and failure, okay? Success and failure. So that is so key for you all to understand that. It is so key for you all to understand that. So you want to make sure that you plan ahead. One of the key things in that is first make sure your broker is right. First, make sure your broker is right. You know you're doing dealing with the right broker, right? Because some brokers cater for customers who may trade infrequently. Some brokers, they're set up for traders who are trading constantly. Now, if you're infrequent, they charge a higher commission, okay? Because they may not offer the right analytical tools for an active trader. So you got to learn these things. You should learn these things. Is this a broker that is dealing with volume? with active traders, okay? These are, these are all the part of the planning. These are all within your risk management, okay? These are all within your risk management. And I wanted to really give you guys some, some real good nuggets today, but we're not even gonna, I'm so fired up of what's gonna happen today. My excitement of having uh, the big dog, okay, the CEO, the man who has been trading for over 25 years, the man who have seen this vision, the man who realized that he wanted to empower 1 million, he understood serving and understands serving. And this is why all of us are here. This is why all of us are here. So I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm elated about what's gonna go down shortly with just really pouring into you guys. So I, I, I urge you traders to, to get your, your, your cousins, your friends, what they say, your cousin and them. Get, get, get them on, get them on. Because it's, it's, it's how often do we have someone on a call whose uh, bank account is like your phone number? How often do we have someone who believes in pouring in and teaching and, and let alone making sure that you win. How often do you have that? Who can you call to say, I got that? My friend is X, Y, Z. Oh, I got, man, you don't understand. You know, I, I, I can call my boys and my boy is already an eight, nine figure earner. How, how many of us have that? Not too many. Well, maybe not, not, not none of us, you know, let's be honest. So this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this. So ladies and gentlemen, the concept of, 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 of risk management, before we go into that segment, it's so key. It is so key what these ladies show to you guys. And I'm so fired up about making sure that you guys fully understand risk management because without it, you will lose every time. I'm hoping somebody hear me. Without it, you will lose every time. You wanna make sure that you're in a great position. You wanna make sure that you're always practicing proper risk management. You wanna make sure that you're planning to succeed, right? You're planning for success. Because if you don't plan for success, you're planning to fail, okay? If you don't plan for success, you're planning to fail, all right? So that is really so good. That is really so good for you guys to understand uh, the concept of risk management. Babe, do you want to add anything yes, before we move yes. on? Yes, I'm super 
super excited. I can hardly contain myself, okay? <laughs> so while we have the legend getting ready to hop on the call over the next few minutes, I want to take some questions. So we're going to take about five questions. I want two from people who've been in the academy for over three months, and then we're going to take two from people who've been in the academy under three months, and then one question from a newbie. So somebody who's been in the academy for under 30 days. So no question is a stupid question. We are here because we want you all to win. So we need to know what you're struggling with and don't be afraid because most of the time, one of your team members have the same exact question, right? So if you raise your hand, we will call on you. So, all right, let me see whose hand. How do I set up a trading plan? Is raised. That's let me see already. All right, Lamisha, quick to the trigger. Two months. All right, so you've been in two months and you say, how do you set up a trading plan? One, you want to first analyze your schedule, see what time of the day is that you can actually trade. It doesn't matter if one pair is moving faster than another pair, you can catch more pips on that one. If, if the market doesn't you know, match up with your schedule. So first see when do you have time to trade, okay? So it may be in the morning, it may be in the evening, it may be in the nighttime, it may be in the wee hours of the, the morning. So write down when are you available first. And the second thing you wanna do is find out or really <laughs> ask yourself when is your brain working at its full capacity? I know That's I good. am not a night person. After 8.30, I'm like, mm, no, okay? So I'm a, definitely a morning person. For some of you who don't really have the time, you don't have additional time, you're gonna have to make time. So wake up, you know, set your alarm an hour or two before and really wake up and, and catch those pips. 24 hours a day, the market is moving, you know, except the weekends. The weekends, it's only crypto, but you have too many opportunities to really, um, to really trade. So find out your peak hours first. When do you actually have time and find out when your brain works the best. Some of you may be midday people. Some of you don't wake up until midday. So <laughs> that's the first thing. And then you can Google the Forex time zones to see what pairs are actually open then. So, you know, we have the New York session, we have the London session, we have the Tokyo session. So start there then you can just start practicing in your demo account taking trades in your demo account you may see that you're consistently losing on certain peers just eliminate those right off the top and just start working with the ones that you actually you know that you actually um been profiting in on the scanner you can zoom in and you can see the the flow of the market and everybody's eyes are different so for some of you you may catch different patterns or you know that hill and valley look easy so um stick with those peers who it seemed like it has a, a flow or rhythm to it you know and mr parker he just dropped something in here he said there's a actual there's a pdf, PDF. Copy of a okay plan. so we also have a, a pdf copy of a trading plan in the telegram chat so if you hit the logo in the telegram chat and you click on links, you should be able to see, you know, the PDFs that are actually in there and go ahead and, and use that as, as a, um, yeah, as your, to make your own trading plan. So use it as your own template. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you want to lock down the days and times you're trading. You definitely want to lock down the peers you're trading and you want to have a percentage or a pip goal ahead of time. Don't just go in the market all willy nilly <laughs> You're waiting for it to do what it's due because the market is not always in your favor. So you have to know ahead of time how many pips you want to take, how many or what percentage you want to take. And we have that, that, trading comp, that trading compound chart as well. So you can write down every time you hop into a trade. And if your goal is 10% on each trade, you don't have to catch well, 10% or 10 pips in one trade, okay? So sometimes you have to break that up and catch five here and then five there to make it safe. Sometimes you have to catch three, three, three. So don't feel like if you're in a trade and you caught eight pips that you really have to stay in there until it hit 10 because it may go up to eight, then go to negative 10, okay? And you have to learn how to move up your stop loss. If you're in five pips profit, go ahead and move your stop loss up. If it comes back the other way and close you out, at least it close you out in five pips. 
and go ahead and catch another five pips. That's good. That's good. That's what I was talking about with that proper risk management, just making sure you secure uh, and being strategic uh, about it instead of sitting there and watching that, that almost go to your, your take profit, but there's a pivot, there's a shift in the market, and now you lose everything. That's right. Okay? Anybody That's good. else had another question? Mr. Mo Jones. Actually, uh, Stephen had a question uh, he had mentioned about uh, – uh, when 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 would be a good time to know okay. what type of trader you uh, you you you've become? You know? Okay, what type of trader? Like if you are impatient, then you have no business trying to swing. Okay, you have no business trying to catch pips on four hour time frames, not even <laughs> one hour time frames. Right. So if you're impatient, if you're one of those people who always have your phone like this and sleeping with the phone right by your ear, <laughs> <laughs> then you don't need a scalp. Like you should not have anxiety. Well, you don't need a swing. You should not have anxiety while you put in your trades. And you really have to figure out which trader you are. If you can just set it and forget it and come back a few hours after work and check your, your trade and you're not having you know, anxiety, then that's a good sign that you're a swinger. If you want to get in and out and watch your trade, you know, within the next 30 minutes, an hour, then you're a scalper. So you have to find your trading personality. Mr. Mo, you said you were looking for the Power Five on YouTube. It's not on YouTube. It's something that our group created, you know, um, Bay, well, myself and Boston and Dawn and Trade King really found something that worked with, for us within the team. And that's what we um, shared with the team. So it's nowhere in the academy and it's nowhere on, on YouTube. And for a lot of you, yes, we have a hundred different educators in I am Academy in the go live, but each of them trade on different tools. Each of them trade, you know, uh, with different indicators. So even though they may be using the harmonic scanner, they may have different indicators on it. So that's why we um, set up the trade cafe for you all. So we can support you with what has been winning for us. And we trade three times a day. And Mr. Mo, I saw a question in here for you. You said, okay, we already went over that one. All right. I don't see any more questions. I believe we had one more raised hand also. If you want them to type it in the chat, let, you know, let them know. But we have one hand is that? Let me see Mo's hand mm -hmm. up. And Mr. Travis, you said, what is the best way to study trades? Um, there's a lot of different ways to really study trades. Once again, it's different indicators, it's different time zones, it's different strategies. But um, we, on our team, we stick to the power of five. But if you want to just explore, honestly, just pick one trader in the go live and just hop on to their sessions every single day. Don't try to mix different educators because you will get confused. Okay. All right. All right. Um, Janie said, as a new person, what's the best way to learn everything? That checklist you get the same day you sign up, just work your way through that checklist. We put a lot of time in that to really compile everything in one PDF. So it shows you about entering and exit trades. It, it shows you how to get your live and your demo started. It shows you how to read the scanner, you know, like Dawn Million Dollar Wilson, she did a kindergarten trade and it shows you how to read that scanner. So once you understand the scanner, it's just a matter of laying the power of five over that and understanding the power of five. So we do those power of five trainings Wednesday at six. So make sure you hop on. And Mo, you said, where's the checklist? The checklist, you should have got it the same day you signed up. If you guys didn't get a checklist through your email when you signed up from um, the Gold Group or join my academy at gmail.com, that um, I'm putting in our phone number there. Just text us after this call and um, we'll get that to you. Awesome, awesome. So go ahead and Miss Deanne, can you remind people in the chat that Mr. Terry himself is about to hop on the call. I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. So a lot of times we look at CEOs as these untouchable people, right? And we don't really think about the, the struggles they had to endure to open doors for us. We don't really think about the hurdles they had to jump. We don't really think of them as normal people. 
but this man is a normal person. He had a vision and it wasn't always easy. Um, I admire him because he comes from struggle. And a lot of people, when, when they go through what they went through and they climb to a certain height, everybody doesn't want to reach back. Everybody doesn't want to reach back in the hood and pull people up. It just takes too much to try to overcome somebody's condition and poor self-development in them and show them what books to read and take them under their your wings. By the time you hit millions and multi-millions, you are running empires. You don't really have time to, you know, sit down with the average person who wants to learn what what you learned. So I am super excited because um we're making history. <laughs> We're making history, people. Like, it's a lot of people who did not want us in this industry, okay? <laughs> it's a lot of people. So do not take it for granted. So think about the doors that this man had to knock down for us to get a chance. You don't need a degree. You know, don't need a background check. You don't need a diploma. You don't even have to have good credit to come in this market and win. You just have to have a burning desire. You just have to have a laptop, a phone, a Wi-Fi connection, and that is priceless. And stick with it. Stick with it. We all had those, you know, moments when we're like, well, I know this works. I know it works for people, but can it work for me? You know, can it work for me? And I had those doubts early on. And many times I was like, baby, just stick to your thing. Like, this is your thing. Let me just write my books. Leave me alone. Why are you trying to drag me in your world? You know, I don't do well with numbers and graphs. And I promise you, I wanted to walk away and we butt had so much. And um, uh, uh, some of you probably heard me say this over the last few months. It was Dawn that really invited me over to her living room. And she's like, okay, pull up your scanner how you're reading this, what do you see, when are you jumping into the trades? And I was reading that thing all backwards, all upside and down. Every time I saw a D on it, I was like, okay, the trade is ready to go. Let me hit buy. Let me hit buy. Not knowing that a D is on all the trades, you know, so I was just jumping in trades blind without indicators, without the power of five, and I was losing. And I was one of those ones who really jumped in live with my real money because I was like, okay, the candlesticks are going up. It's clearly a buy or the candlesticks are going down. It's clearly a sell. And I, I like, I wasn't taking my own advice. I was telling people who were enrolling in the academy, you know, study, write down your notes. I was not doing any of that. Okay. <laughs> so um, I had to humble myself and come back as a student and, and take it from the drawing board. And I, I urge all of you to do that because it's too much money on the table. The hurdles have already been crossed for us. The doors have already been kicked down. Like we are here and it's nothing stopping you from you, from winning, but you like, how can one person come into the academy and in six months they're ready to quit? Bitch, I don't have the time and I don't think this is for me. And then somebody else can hop on, hop in the academy at the same exact day and walk away from their job six months later, you know? a year later. It's not the tools. It's not the academy. It's you. So it, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter what opportunity you take. It doesn't matter what business you try to open. There you are. It doesn't matter what country you go to. There you are. So until you really buckle down and tell yourself, I'm going to stay in this no matter what. Stop counting the 175 or the 234 you paid a month. Like if you're counting that, you're already going to lose because that's already the, the poverty mindset. You spent so much more on that on, in, in college. You done gave people most of your years already. Like it's time for you. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. And you have a team of 600 people here. If you can't make it here, <laughs> I don't care what business you're, you're, you're going to start. You're not going to have this type of community. You're not going to have this type of structure. So really stick with it. Stick with it. Like the, the, the hardest part is already like behind you. you. You found us. You found the community. Just wake up an hour if you have to and, and make a commitment to yourself. Like you deserve to win. You deserve to win and you can win here. You know, I'm super excited. <laughs> well, you can clearly see the passion, yes. right? You guys can clearly see the passion. Now you guys see, go ahead and light up the chat box because I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen, because this is what I lay down beside Listen, I, look, I'm, I'm tapping. I'm tapping right now. See, this is where that energy comes from. So y'all better be ready because, you know, with all the energy that is really surging right now, when Mr. Terry do join us 
it's going to be even more energy mm -hmm. and it's going to be so much information, mm -hmm. um, so action packed. And, and I really want to thank you all for just running the course because I can really dive in, giving you some more information so that I, I know when Mr. Terry joins us, it's going to be such an awesome thing to have him on the call, uh, just his presence, uh, gracing all of you guys. And I think it's a big thing to know that you will have someone of his magnitude deciding to stop in, spend some time with us, and really uh, share some amazing information. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm super fired up. I'm excited about it. Uh, I know we were talking about risk management, and, and it, it really goes with everything that we do as, as we were talking about it. It, it, really, it really does, and, and I'm super, super excited about the direction that we're going. You guys have been, for, the, for those who have just started on this platform, for those who have just started, for some of you who are literally now doing this, you want to really follow through with the system that we have in place. We're trading three to five times a day, okay? We, we, we're, 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 we're literally exposing uh, the platform and showing you the basics of it uh, uh, around, you know, 13 times a week. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a systemic setup Okay, from, your, from the onboarding process to where you guys are. So what are you doing? How are you plugging in? How are you plugging in? Are you going through those series? Are you taking your time, documenting, taking notes in the academy so that you would be effective? Because you know, some of the questions I know you guys ask that we, I already know when I hear a question, if you're a beginner or versus if you're someone that's seasoned, okay? I already hear, I, when I hear those questions, I already know. So I already know that, okay, well, this person definitely needs some more information. This person definitely needs to, to really take some time and go through that academy because without the information, it says we perish for lack of knowledge. We perish for lack of knowledge. Now, you know, you, you guys know me already. You know how I operate, okay? I'm a man of faith, how I live my life. I don't impose mine on anyone, but I need you guys to understand, right? We perish for lack of knowledge. A lot of us said, I'm ready, I'm ready to run, I'm ready to do this, but we really are not ready. Okay, we have conditional faith, all right? So where is your faith? Your faith cannot be conditional, all right? We cannot try anything. Listen to this. We cannot try, we need to commit. We cannot try, we need That's to commit, right. okay? So are you gonna commit to the, to the change as a six or seven figure trader? Have you committed? Now, if you have committed, I need to see 12 in the chat box. If you have committed, not try. If you have committed, okay, go ahead and put 12 in the chat box. Light it up for me. Light it up for me. I want to know if you guys have committed, if you've committed that you're going to do this because it's a very small percentage. And I was going to go through that today, but I said, I'll save it for later of traders who are really successful because most of you joined this, but then a lot of folks fall off because they're, they're expecting now the gratification of now, but yet you have gone to school two years, four years, you've sat for the degree, six years, eight years, you've sat for the degree, but then you come into the largest financial market in the world, and now you expect to make money now, mm -hmm. now. The largest financial market in the world, and you want it now. You wanna look at yourself, ask yourself, all of you, right now, just practice this, ask yourself, is something wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself that, is something wrong with me? How do I have the audacity to come and think I need to make money now, but I sat four years for my degree. I sat six years for my degree. It is a process, that's right. It is a process. Time must meet preparation and preparation must meet time. Time must meet preparation and preparation must meet time. So I'm fired up, I'm excited about this journey that you guys are all embarked upon with us because we will assist you in becoming six and seven figure traders because the academy is set up that way to do so. And all we are doing, ladies and gentlemen, is holding your hand along the way. But you have to do that one thing I always say, apply yourself. You have to apply yourself, okay? That's right, that's right. So even if it takes you four years, and I know four years sounds like a lot of time, it sounds like a lifetime to some of you all, but what is four years instead of 40? Okay, Ooh, <laughs> 40 year, four years of mastering this, like you can be anywhere in the world and like make money. And it's a skill you can pass on from generation to generation. It's worth the investment. Stop looking at that monthly subscription. Like we spend money on shoes, clothes, eating out, like put the money aside and say, you're going to be in this until. That's right. And that's, right. that's when I started winning. I stopped taking off. I start, started taking off the pressure 
off of myself because at first I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this 12 months. And if I'm not making this type of money, then I'm not doing this anymore. And I had to go back to the basics. I had to go back to the books I've read all my life. And I really had to tell myself, it's no backup plan. It's no plan B, like I'm going to get this. And that's when I, <laughs> that's when I started winning, you know? That's when I started winning. That's good. That's good. Uh, you know, Deanne, you know, I'm always, I'm always up for some good energy and some good music uh, with both of you guys. Um, but I know I see, I see Chairman Don Million Dollar Wilson on here. Uh, Don Million Dollar Wilson. What do you have to say to anybody on the call who's feel like, you know, it's not for them. They kind of feel like giving up. They feel discouraged. What do you have to say? I say the bottom line is I just ditto and double, double down on everything you guys have shared today. Success is a process and it takes time. I think the reason most people never reach the level of success that they desire or they have the potential to reach is because they don't have the patience to get there. If you look at most people who fail, most people who struggle trying to get to their goals, it's because they throw in the towel. And it's just not with business. I mean, I know we got R&D, over here, you and Boston get up at 5 a.m., go to the gym. It's not just with financial uh, goals. It's with all the goals. We talk about the tips, fits, and pips that we have five times a week, Monday through Friday. You know, we had a whole lot of people started, and before they reached their six-pack, some people gave up. So I think you guys are definitely on it. You have to respect the process and you have to have patience and determination. You have to be determined no matter what, by any means. Like I will not stop. I will not slow down. I will not take my feet off the gas until I win, period. So Beige, I think that at the end of the day, all I can do is second everything you and Mr. Boston and the young ladies, Beige, Boston, Miss Rachelle, Deanne, everything that everyone shared with you today was absolutely powerful. And guys, now all you have to do is dig down deep in your belly, that burning desire. Something have to wake you up every day with that notion to push, 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 no matter what. Determination, that's the word for today. Determination, we always got to leave with a word. You have to be determined to be patient so that you can be successful trading. You have to be determined to keep pushing even when people tell you they're going to show up and they don't. You have to be determined. You jump in a trade and get out too early or hit retracement. You have to be determined until you become a six and seven figure trader, period. So determination is the word for today, Beige. So I want everybody to be determined to get to the right side of money and get excited guys and our CEO should be joining us momentarily so I definitely want you guys to go ahead and invite 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 some of your friends and your family you know some people don't think things is real until well who owned the company where's the CEO now you have the opportunity and the luxury to say here I am and if you guys are on your laptops Pull out your cell phones. You want to go live. You want to let your friends, your family, and the world know, hey, not only am I in this business, I'm doing amazing things, but I'm connected to the right people at the right time with the right leadership, with the right company, and the right CEO. So go ahead, guys. Pull out those cell phones. Go live. You want to show the whole world what we're getting ready to do. Back to you, Beige. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Uh, you know, right now I saw uh, one of the uh, top leaders as well uh, joined us um, earlier and, and I'm so excited. I'm elated when I see uh, the powerhouses in the house. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, we just had Chairman Don Million Dollar Wilson speaking and I want to go ahead and, 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 and have this uh, phenomenal leader uh, really jump in and, and grace you guys as well uh, with her presence. Uh, this is a woman of God. She is a, a mother, a wife. Uh, she is such an awesome leader. She's a Chairman 50. Uh, I, I would want to say Chairman 100 because it is done in about the next five days. Uh, she is my good friend. We worship together. Uh, her, the families are really tight. And I want to really, I want to, I want to bring in this woman because of what she does, what she means as someone, as a catalyst and a strategist to the growth and where we've been going and just our relationship period. So I want to, without further ado, I want to really welcome Dr. China Bethley. Dr. China, are you out there today? Are you out there, Dr. China? 
Hey, 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 Boston, I am here, I am here. Please let me know if you can hear me okay, if you can hear me loud and clearly. I can hear and see you. How you doing, girly? Awesome. First of all, you guys look amazing. The power couple is in the house. Take a picture, y'all. That gorgeous highlight on Beige's skin. Boston always come through so dapper. I'm always just honored to be in you guys' presence. You are just phenomenal, phenomenal leaders. There are few people who come into this space and join as leaders. With the success that you guys have both acquired individually was already so strong. Beige doing big, big things in media, big, big things in entertainment, big things in life coaching where people are reaching out to you from all over the world and says, just speak life into me. And who would have thought a woman with a story like yours who've overcome so much, who the rest of the world growing up may have said, well, that is no way that that woman can make it from what she's been through. You just inspired change in so many people's lives. So I'm so honored to be here in Boston, who's been doing big things, been doing big numbers. That's my brother in Christ right there, y'all. But he when he come to church, he come just like he come here with just power and enthusiasm. And I knew that he was doing big numbers. And when you see him, you just know that he's really just a man of excellence. And so when you put all that together right there, you definitely have an amazing, amazing power couple. I'm so honored that you saw the opportunity to say yes to this space and do it when it was unfamiliar and unpopular. Boston, I know you've been heavy in Bitcoin doing multi-million dollar deals before it was ever really a conversation, but to do it a different way that now opens up the door for so many more people is really just a blessing. Beige, I remember when you came in probably just supporting your husband, not mm -hmm. really thinking that you was going to be coming into this space and really mm -hmm. running like you running. I see you running, doing your thing, and it's just a blessing. It's a blessing for you who already have so much success and have acquired so many incredible accolades to really just reach back for somebody else, reach back for somebody else who maybe didn't really believe, reach back for somebody else who maybe felt like it was going to be too hard for them and really say, you get to come on this journey with us. So I'm just honored really uh, to be here and just speak life into your team members. I see so many beautiful people that <laughs> come here from probably all over the United States, perhaps all over the world that's joining your academy, joining your movement under your toolage and leadership is amazing. And you know, when Miss Dawn Million Dollar Wilson comes through, you just got to pause for the cause. Because she's through. Such an energy, <laughs> such enthusiasm. She's going to bring an energy before you ever hear a word out of her mouth. You're going to feel the presence and the essence of someone who's really just on a mission for a cause that's so much bigger than just herself and so much bigger than just her household. So I would say to anybody that's on a call right now, consider yourself extremely blessed to have access, to be connected, to, to, to be able to hear from people who could have decided this is for me and I don't, I'm not sharing it with nobody else. They could have decided, let's go get another million. Let's go get another 10 million. But they decided that this wasn't just for them. And so I'm tremendously honored once again to be working alongside them. And when I think about Christopher Terry, just so you guys know, I don't know if you understand the level and the value of leadership you have right here. These leaders that you are looking at right now, the, the, the woman and man that stands before you, that's getting up, it sounds like you guys say three times a day. <laughs> Do you know what kind of work that is? They must genuinely love you from their heart. Do you realize that they can decide to trade whenever they want, but they want you to come along three times a day? That's amazing. That, that shows true commitment. So when he says that I'm not going to try, but I'm committed, forget trying. Listen, this is what I was told. I was told that if you're trying, you're lying. Either you're doing it or you're not. Mm. Right. If you're trying, you're lying. Either you're doing it or you're not. So either you're about this life and you're committed to your legacy and you're committed to your destiny or you're not. And I believe everybody that's on right now really needs to see themselves in a new reality. There's so much abundance right now. There's so much overflow right now. We are in the midst of a wealth transfer. In the midst of that time, you got impeccable leadership in front of you right now. And guess what? The CEO of the company, Mr. Christopher Terry, a man who's a sneeze away from a billionaire, asks to get on the call with them. I don't think you understand what I just said. He asks to get on a call with them. He saw what they were doing, tapping the leadership board, coming through unapologetically, asking no questions, and he wanted to know who they were. You're talking about a man who's a sneeze away from a billionaire that acts 
to be on a call with your phenomenal leaders, Beige and Boston. Now, I, I, I just count that blessed. I, I don't know about you guys, but that's a pretty big deal right there. Out of all of the hundreds of thousands of people, and I say hundreds of thousands, because we're on our way to 300,000 people in this company, he asked. He asked. They did not ask. They did not ask. I was there. I witnessed it. I'm telling you right now, he asked to be on a call with them. And I think that's just an incredible blessing. And I want to make sure that the people that are here are not taking any of it for granted. I'm, I'm honored. This is someone who has an extremely fruitful schedule. Um, we got some big things that's going to be coming out really, really soon. If anybody thought that they was getting inside of this space and getting inside of this space may be a little too late. Dang, man, I should have got in when Beige and Boston got in. Dog, mm -hmm. man, man, I should have got in when Dawn Million Dollar Wilson got in. Dog. Listen, if you would have got in then, you probably wouldn't be in right now because mm -hmm. it took a certain type of person, to be honest with you. It took a certain type of person to stick through paving that way. So man. you have come in at the perfect time. You have come in at the perfect time to be in the perfect position. Now all of the things that they had to go through is already done for you. Now you get to just glean from the support and the leadership of being on sessions multiple times a day or trade out. If you don't know how to use the scanner, it's all right because multiple trades are given to you daily. And all you have to do is copy, paste, and profit. So once again, I'm just honored and I pray that you guys will really tie in uh, to everything that we have going on in this space. I pray that you guys will really get serious um, about your personal goals. I pray that you guys will really uh, not count yourself out for the bigger goals. Some of you are seeing this trade concept and the truth is you really need to make some money. And one of the reasons that I find that some people are frustrated is because they have created in their mind something that they're really not in a position to create. And what that is, is a story of how it gets done. Some of you have created in your mind exactly how you go to the next level, but you never been to the next level. So how can you know turn by turn what it takes? What the question needs to be at all time is beige in Boston. What do I need to do? Tell them your situation. There's phenomenal leaderships that support them. If your situation, when I came in, I needed to make some money. I wasn't in a position to tell my mentors how I was going to get to the money because this place was new. It was foreign. And the truth be told, I needed to make money so bad that the idea of me going through learning how to trade, because I, I promise you, I counted myself out too. I felt like I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get this. So if there's money on the table, I can't afford to miss out on nothing. So coach, what do I need to do? Mentors, what do I need to do? I don't care what success you've had prior in your life. Don't come into this space and assume that you're going to get the success here the way you think you're going to get it here. Some of you, really, you need money to even fund your live account. If you was in your live account, you would already see the success that would allow you to be excited enough to go share with people. But some of you are holding yourself back because maybe you need the finances to fund your account. So I challenge you to just say, Paige, Boston, in my situation right now, if I could just make an extra $500 a week, what is the quickest way? See, I don't know about you guys. I know that there's two ways that we can make money in this space or two different sides. I get that. You can make money trading and you can make money building. But I'm just saying, who's, who has the luxury to choose one or the other? Who, who really has the luxury to choose this one or that one? Who really has the luxury to say, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a develop on this side and I'm a wait for that side. Most of us are not in a position to, to wait. Right now, we're in the biggest wealth transfer of our time. The greatest stories of our time are being created right now. Why not count yourself? <laughs> you know what? Forget the limitations and fear. I'm ready to do this. Whatever it takes, I'm willing to do it. You need to put that in there right now and say, whatever it takes, no more limitations, no more fear, no more, well, I'm a, well, how could you say you're going to wait if there's a bag right there for you? Could you imagine somebody saying, I got $10,000 a month for you, and you say, you know what? I'm going to wait on that. Could you imagine somebody say, I got $5,000 a month for you? And you say, you know what? I'm going to wait on that one. Could you imagine somebody saying, I got $2,000 a month for you just to share your story? And you say, I'm going to wait on that one. Many of us are not in a position to wait. So I challenge you to just be extremely coachable and take everything that your coaches and mentors are saying and just do it. Don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it. Just do it. You guys have some of the best leaders inside the industry. Don't take it for granted. 
but take full advantage of what you have because I promise you it's priceless. Beige Boston, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Let me go and grab Christopher Terry really quick um, so that he can grace the people here on a call. I'm extremely excited about everybody that's here. Continue to get these numbers up. You need to share this with the world. Like Dawn Million Dollar Wilson said, mm -hmm. all you have to do is follow what they're doing. They're leading by example. She's showing you, sharing on social media, screenshots, leveraging. Get more people to see this on the call as we grab the CEO of I Am Mastery Academy, Mr. Christopher Terry. I turn it back over to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, I, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's so much fire. It says iron sharpens iron, you know, iron sharpens iron. And you can only imagine how we operate in the ministry, right? You can only imagine how we worship. Uh, it, it's such a pleasure to really have uh, Dr. China on today and, and to actually uh, bring the CEO in along with uh, us just to really jump in and dive in. If the information, if you guys, what you just, you guys just heard, she asked about typing no limitations, mm. no limitations in the chat box, right? You guys need to type it up uh, uh, unless you got limitations, mm -hmm. unless you got limitations, you should have no limitations in the chat box. No limitations should be in that chat box so because- you're not in this by yourself. Like you have people to connect to, people who already paved the way, people who are doing some things that most people think are impossible, you know, Dawn's million dollars about to hit Chairman 25, okay? <laughs> Dr. China's about to hit Chairman 100. Dr. Jewel already hit Chairman 100, making 100,000 a month just last week, okay? So it, it, it's real, it's real. And the income potential is really limitless. So like, how bad do you want it? A lot of you reached out to us because you want us to show you how to make money, right? <laughs> so allow us to show you how to make money. <laughs> Come on now. That's good. That's good. That's good. Allow us to show you how to make money. You know, it's amazing. And that's just such a powerful statement that Beige just said, uh, along with what Dr. China just added to you all. I need you guys to understand that. How do you come in the house of a... Uh, of, of, of a Don Million Dollar Wilson, uh, a Beijing Boston, a Dr. China, or, or a Bill Gates, or a Warren Buffett, or, and then I want to make money, Warren. I want to make money. And then Warren says, go to McDonald's, grab me a Coke, and on the way you'll meet a gentleman. And you're like, okay. Oh, I don't want to do it that I, I, way. I don't want to do it that I way. I don't like to talk to strangers. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like to talk to strangers. What are you talking about? I came here to learn from you. But hold on, you missed the whole purpose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you missed the whole purpose. He said, I need you to go to McDonald's, grab me my special coat. On the way back, you'll meet a gentleman. Ah, oh, Warren, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> see, see, you don't understand that uh, when the student is ready, a teacher appears. That's you right. truly don't understand that because you are still looking at this with limitations. You're looking at it from a, from a lens of limitations. That's why she said, no limitations, no more limitations, mm -hmm. no more because it is powerful, you know? Yeah, I see we have a few people on the call who inspire me. I know a lot of people say I inspire them, but there's some people in the team that inspires me. And I saw somebody's name up here. I'm not sure if she is able to talk, but this young lady is only 22 years old. She joined the team less than a year ago. She was working two jobs at the time. And I remember telling her, hop on these calls, hop on these calls. Well, beige, I can't, I have to work. I'm like, do you love what you do? She said, no. I'm like, I'm trying to get you out those jobs. Hop on the calls, okay? And she started applying herself within a few months. I got a text from her. She said, beige, I walked away from one of my jobs. I'm like, one more to go. Come on. <laughs> and you know, within the year, this lady was able to walk away from both her jobs, one as a banker and the second one working at a gas station. Personally, I feel like two jobs is for two people, okay? Like it's time to take your, your, your life in your hands and it's really here and we, we have your back. We support you 100%. So I don't know if she can talk out there, but Miss John Tasia, are you on? Hey, hey guys, I am here. Can you hey. hear me? <laughs> yes, we can hear you. Listen, guys, I get so excited on these calls. Like, I don't know what just comes over me, but, you know, I always, I thank you guys, you know, a hundred times plus some because, you know, if I would have never ran into you guys, if I would have never, I jumped in base DM after I seen how everybody was retiring, buying houses, and, you know, everybody connected to this lady was just doing something so great with their life. I'm like, man, listen, I, I need to be with her. I, I need to know who she is. So guys, I wasted no time reaching out and, and contacting this babe. And I was like, you know what? You know, I'm working two jobs. So I ain't, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. 
I contacted her and, and I, I got on this platform almost immediately. But guess what? You know, still as a working person, like if you work, you know, work consumes you. And like she said, I was working two jobs. So I had great intentions to, you know, get on here and run. But at the same time, I needed somebody there pushing me. I needed somebody to be like, listen, what you're doing is not working. So why are you continuously doing it? So, and that's exactly what this team gave me. That is exactly what my mentors did for me. They made me realize like, what are you doing? And why are you doing it? Because you obviously know you should not be in this space. You know, you shouldn't be working all these hours. Guys, I'm only 22 years old and I was working over 18 hours a day, right? So when I had time to sleep, sometimes I did not, but guess what? I knew what type of lifestyle I wanted. It required money, okay? So I had to find a space that can get me the money that I was looking for. Like, I know what type of life, I know I'm meant to be flying on private jets and hanging out, you know, on yachts and stuff, guys. So you have to put yourself in a position to get what you want to get, but it, it requires work, right? It requires effort. So you just can't, you can't just join and go lay down and be like, all right, I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. That's not how it works. You guys have a team of people that's pushing you and leading you to greatness. So what you have to do is be ready to receive it. When you ask for something, you have to be ready to receive what you're asking for. And you got people who've done it. They've already there where you want to be. So it's the best place to be following them. Like guys, they literally gave me the blueprint to leave not one job, but two jobs. And I did it within six months. Mm -hmm. I have someone under me that left, left her job in three months. Woo! <laughs> Three months, okay? <laughs> and I don't know if she's on this call right now, but her name is Alexis. This young lady joined the platform and it's, it was during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So she was able to condense a normal job and she replaced her income in, in three months. She had nothing else to do. We was locked in the house. So she took no time to get where she needed to be. So when, when her job does be like, hey, I need you to come back home, there is no home. I work for myself now. Right. And we all we owe it all to these people who's already paving away because just like they said, guys, they don't have one. Listen, this market moves six point seven trillion dollars a day. Don't nobody got to tell you about it. OK, <laughs> nobody ain't got to share it with you. <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys for so much. Like and all you do with the um, do for the team and do for us, because just like they said, guys, three times a day, we're trading and making money. It's really like five times a day because of this pandemic. But you have people who literally helping you along the way they want you to be successful so why not take that leap like they're doing i want to say 85 percent of the work guys we're gonna need you to put in your other uh your other 15 percent but it's gonna get done it's gonna Man. get done thank you so much guys thank you so much for just bringing me on i really appreciate everything you guys do thank you for sharing i know you're one of the um wolves as well and you actually help with the team calling out trades like a lot of you do and that is why we are able to trade three times a day okay shout out to miss keisha mba i see you up in here <laughs> but but it's because of you that the, the team is growing so much it's because of you that the team members have so much help and when we joined two and a half years ago we didn't have all this in place so each of you are doing a little bit and it really helps out a lot and i love y'all for that <laughs> that's right that's right so we're getting the effort of a hundred uh individuals so instead of having a hundred percent from one person then you get one percent uh from a hundred individuals and and that's really what's happening right now this is why we are the market breakers notice there's no i in team right so it's we are the market breakers this is all happening because of us so uh you know as the, the seeing the mba on the call who uh actually directs and, and 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 handles our trade cafe i would love for her to share a quick uh word with you guys as well uh as we get uh the uh ceo on here um keisha mills are you able to talk keisha mills let us know if you're able to unmute yeah Yes, yes, yes. This uh, she's coming. She's right here. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, listen, Chocolate Boy. I'm glad I got. I got. I'm glad I got you, Chocolate Boy. You know what I mean? Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is no MBA without the Chocolate Boy because at the end of the day, this is one of the lead wolves, and and this gentleman is crushing it as well. So, you know, I really want both of you guys just go ahead and kind of weigh in on what's happening and how this movement has truly uh, helped uh, everyone on this team. Um, yes, Paige and Boston, you guys are awesome and amazing. Always there for us. I mean, we couldn't do the wolf calls and you guys are important to us when we first came on board. 
And uh, so we're so grateful to you too. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I was running out of stairs. <laughs> Alicia, I got my workout in, girl. <laughs> so yes, I was, I'm so excited. And we're hearing a kind of so echo excited. in your background. Yeah, I'm so excited to be part of this team, guys, and this movement. My story is fairly similar to Beige's as far as I didn't know what I was doing. I just saw the opportunity, and I was like, look, I got to figure this out because I don't want to get a job. And again, like I always tell you guys, my husband did 27 years active duty. I did 17, and I said, okay, I think we had enough yes ma'ams, yes sirs. I think we moved enough times. I think our children need stability. And I just didn't want to ask someone for a day off to be on a field trip. I didn't want to ask someone a day off to take my kids to the doctor. Like that for me was no longer an option, okay? So I said, I'm gonna figure this trading thing out. I've asked for an opportunity. It came to my doorstep. I pushed it away. I said, this is not for me. The government shut down 2018, did not pay us for over 30 days, and the government is the most guaranteed job you can have, right? We are guaranteed our paycheck, and they did not pay us. And I said, no, this, there has to be something. We have to figure something out. So I said, Dawn, teach me. <laughs> so I went to her couch, that same old couch, looked at this, learned those ABCs, those lines, and I figured it out because the alternate was not an option for us. So I'm just so grateful when Dawn and Josh and uh, you guys, Beijing Boston said, look, we're gonna trade, we're gonna teach this team, we're gonna pour into them three times a day when we made a decision as leaders last fall that we were gonna do this, I figured out, okay, Dawn does amazing things as the chairman, Beijing Boston are always doing amazing things with the leadership and help building us as leaders. So what can me and my husband do? And if you guys know, I'm very disciplined, very structured, and I found my place where I can contribute to the team. It's always about finding what you can do. I mean, Rachelle and Claudine and all these amazing people do these great videos. Like, each of us have a talent. We can definitely bring something to the team. So that was our calling for the team and our contribution to the team, and I've been committed to that ever since. And just to see you guys succeed and learn the skill, yes. I mean, the platform is amazing by itself, okay? But just to see that we can come together three to five times a day now, and you guys are looking at these charts, and you guys are finding your own trade ideas, is amazing. It's amazing. I'm able to sit back and see what it is that we've done and help building you guys in your... Um, trading experience, your trading journey, and just watching you guys find money in the market and just just kind of going out on your own. I tell you all the time, I'm a proud trade mom. So when I'm not on those trade calls, if I'm sitting there in silence and I'm letting you guys run the show, that just means that what we're doing is not in vain. That means that we've created a duplicatable system. That's the important thing, right? We shouldn't rely on Dawn or Beijing and Boston just for this machine to run. If we can't duplicate what we're doing, then we're not doing a good job as leaders. So I'm so glad that I have these new wolves. I'm so glad that you guys are committed. I'm so glad if I forget to open a Zoom call, y'all are texting me and y'all are like, are we not trading today? You know, I'm just so grateful for that. So again, I could not do this without my husband. We have three small kids at home. So when I'm out here, training the team. He is there making sure dinner is cooked, lunch is served, and homeschooling is being done. So we have an amazing, amazing partnership. And I'm so grateful for you, husband. I'm just so grateful for you and that we're on this journey together. So that's all I have. Thank you so much for letting me share a little bit today. And you guys inspire me as far as your trading and sharing the opportunities. So trust me, we are watching, we are learning, and we are growing right alongside you. Thanks again. Awesome, 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 awesome. awesome. Woohoo! You know, you know, right? I, I I see that one hundred. So I don't even want to say nothing. I see I see a hundred. Hold on, I'm gonna call all type of name. I see a hundred. Is that a hundred? Hey, what's up, yeah. people? You you I'm don't a even beautiful couple doing. I just love y'all. Y'all look you know so what? cute. You, you don't even need an introduction, Doc. Yeah, I, I can't even give you an introduction. You just so listen. All I see is a hundred. Dr. Joe, she snuck up on the call. Just uh, where are you at, Doc? You still out there? Are you still? I am. There? Yes, I'm right here. No, I'm, ladies I'm, and gentlemen, I'm driving in a G wagon, yeah. headed home, getting ready for like four webinars back to back. But I had to get on here with you guys. Um, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yes. Yes, we can. So Boston and Beige, I just want to say, first of all, when I tell you that I love y'all, 
Like, let me tell you what I love. I love how hungry you guys are. I love how consistent you stay. I love how, I love how you guys are fighters, uh, really freedom fighters for wealth. And I think, you know, the time that we live in right now, it's so vitally important that we educate our people on wealth education because at the end of the day, to stop some of, some of the heinous race crimes that are happening, that means that we're gonna have to put the right people in office. And the reality is, is that a lot of laws within the last 10 years are passed because of money. The agenda at the end of the day was money. And so when there's enough money, a community can make a demand on you know who's going to be mayor, who's going to be governor, who's going to be the police chief and city council. And so for me, all of this was just a reminder that we have to be more fervent than ever, that we become wealthy and that we really educate our people on wealth. Uh, everybody's going to play a different part. Some people may march, some people may protest at police stations. But one thing that I learned from, from watching what happened in uh, South Africa with the dismantling of apartheid, it really all came down to when the nations got together and said, you know, we're, we're doing sanctions. We're not going to spend any money, no imports, no exports. And really, that's what dismantled uh, apartheid. It wasn't that the heads of states were so sympathetic or um, them seeing, you know, Nelson Mandela go through years of horrendous oppression uh, and, and abuse in the jail system. But when they, you know, put their foot down and stopped spending money, then you got their attention. And so as we are rallying for wealth, I want you guys to join Ben and I, our church, July 7th. We will not be spending a dime in America. Uh, but I also think that this is really important now for our people to understand that this opportunity is bigger than anything else you've ever done. This is the, the belly button of the financial wealth transfer, which is where we're at with trading foreign currency and trading cryptocurrency and, and, um, and you know, learning about stock options and, and indices and commodities. And, you know, guys, this is, when I tell you, I, I, I really believe this strongly. Um, I had a group of leaders I was on the phone with last night out of San Diego, and I think I just snapped on them, and then I had to calm down because <laughs> I wanted them to know that I love them. But, you know, they had been in for 30 days, and they were whining about how they didn't understand this, and they didn't understand this, and they didn't know if this was for them. I said, if you don't get some skin on your behind, technology is not going anywhere. This technology this education is not going anywhere and if you and if you have thin skin or if you're a quitter or if you won't challenge yourself to go back and look at a video again challenge yourself to ask a question challenge yourself to get back on go live again and by the time that call was ending i literally saw my numbers going up because these people were reactivating i'm like what are you doing you know where's the endurance where's the perseverance where's the longevity where's the sustainability how can you start something and after a month start whining and crying? Guys, we're category creators, right? This technology is, 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 is really very, very new to the public sector. And you have an opportunity to be in on the first phase of the largest wealth transfer in the world. So don't be silly. You know, I tell them, I feel like Harriet Tubman, I'm pulling out my pistol and tell you not going back. To what? To what? What, what was so much money that you were making that you would put down everything, you would walk away from a couple hundred dollar investment and turn back to go back what you know? What is wrong with you? And so, guys, we have a huge opportunity here. You know, Boston and Beige um, are, you know, extremely close to chairman. I, we, have to help, we have to help them push, push over. We, we have to help them do that. We have to get behind all the leaders here that are close to hitting rank. We need our community to win now more than ever. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that this government, this nation respects is economics. It's the only thing that they respect. You can shoot, you can cry, you can fuss, you can light fire, you can do all of that. And I, you know, I sympathize with my brothers and sisters who do that because people do that when they feel powerless. But we have to be the ones to let them know that there is another answer and that answer is success. That answer is money. That answer is wealth building. And so I just want to ask you guys to all recommit to this journey. We're on it together. And if I didn't have this revelation, I wouldn't still be here four years later. 
I wouldn't be making $130,000 a month if it was easy. So I know you guys can do it. I'm pretty passionate right now. We have to get this. We have to get this. We have to get our people. We have to teach them how to think. We have to teach them how to fight. We have to teach them to be tenacious, to be single-minded. We have to teach them because nobody else is going to fight for them. We have to fight for them. We have to tell them, no, you sit your behind down and you get back in front of this video again. You get back on this Zoom again. Yes, you do need money. Stop telling people you don't need money. Yes, you do. Yes, you do need it. You need it for so many reasons. You need it for your zip code. You need it for your children's school. You need it for your parents. You need it for the people that you have influence on. You need it for so many reasons. Money is vitally important. I think it's, been, I think it's more important now than it has ever been, ever. So if you really want to make impact, you really want to make noise, you really want to have a voice, get wealthy. That's what you do. And, and you can't do it the hard way. Things aren't going to go bad. Technology is going to keep moving faster and faster. And so you got to be in a space where you can keep up with all of this stuff because it's not going to slow down because it's trying to keep up with your learning. Put a demand on yourself to learn. Put a demand on yourself to grow. Put a demand on yourself to stretch. We're all being stretched. We're all uncomfortable, doggone it. But you don't walk away so you can go blend in and be normal. And try to, some of y'all trying to find a balance. Ain't no balance. When you're behind 400 years, you don't, you don't have the liberty to take a Saturday off. Where they do that at? Tell me Ouch. that. Ouch. You don't have the liberty. I don't have the liberty right now to come home from church and say, oh, I'm just going to take the rest of the day off. What? When I'm out here trying to help people get off of, you know, Section 8 food stamps, I, you know, I don't mind the poverty spirit. I like the, I like the dismantle of poverty spirit. I tell a girl, I talked to a girl, five kids from Section 8. I said, all I need you to be is hungry. I really don't care about all of that, girl. What's your future looking like? Tell me what you want to see your life look like in a year. Tell me what you want to see your life look like in two years. Are you ready to follow close? So you guys got to lean in on your mentors. If Michael Jordan had a mentor, Kobe Bryant had a mentor, how the heck you think you're not going to have a mentor? Some of y'all are, are following too far. Lean in. Mm. When I see chairman uh, mentorship call, Alex did on Monday, I, I rearranged my schedule to make sure I was on that call so that I can hear what he had to say so I can grow. You got to show up. Some of you are, are, are not following because you're following too far and you got the wrong voices in your ear. You got voices of complacency and voices of normalcy and voices of it don't take all of that. You better shut all them voices down because they don't pay your bills. Ooh. They'll mm. keep you right where you are. So I told him earlier on a leadership call that I did, I said, listen, balance is overrated. You better know your season. You better sit down with your children and your family. I don't know the young lady that was talking before. She said how, her, how, her, how and, um, her and her husband are tag teaming. I love that. Figure that thing out. We ain't got time to be lying up watching Netflix and people out here, they burning in the streets and doing this, that, and the third. We got to teach our people to turn that anger into education. But we got to be sympathetic and compassionate with them while they go through their process. You never ask a man why he burned down the building or, or how did you do? You ask him why, what made you do that? And then you got to help them and show them. So those of us that's been graced to be blessed, to want to educate ourselves, now we got to go back and help the other child who want to burn down the building. We got to get to them. I'm trying to get to them. I'm trying to get to the ones who want to stand on top of the CNN building and risk their life. That's who I'm trying to talk to. So, um, guys, listen, we got work to do. And uh, it's time for real soldiers to, to stand up, run this race, run it with fervency, run it with focus. Don't be all over the place. There's not another company that can even compare. And, and all the stuff that I have going on, this is what takes 10 hours of my day. Period. End of the story. Not all over the place.
over here, over there. Oh, let me do this. Oh, let me do that. You better know when it's time to shut that thing down and put your time over here. Because I don't know where else they can make six figures a month. Come on. <laughs> I mean, that's the money. That, that should make you put down everything. Because these next six months are critical. You got to ask yourself, where am I going to be? So anyway, I love y'all. Y'all got amazing leadership with Dr. China, Dawn, Boston and Beige. I mean, just amazing. And let me tell you, this other thing. You're not going to always like your wealth squad, but you better show, learn, and love them. You better learn to love them and be appreciative of the relationship that God has put on your, um, in your pathway. Don't take it for granted. I see Chris just get, came on, so I'm about to turn it over. Um, Chris, thank you so much for jumping on those two webinars yesterday. You made an impact. Thank you for telling all your business. Thank you for being bold with it. Thank you for not backing up. Thank you for not being a punk with it. Thank you. All right, I love oh, y'all. I'm out. You, don't be a punk with it. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Christopher Terry? Everybody make some noise. Drop some pandas in the chat. The CEO <laughs> of I Am Mastery is on the line. I'm so godly proud and excited. Yes. Woo! Yes. 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 Chris. Please, everybody. Chris, so, uh, really quick. I don't yes, see you. I don't know where you are. I don't. I don't see I, you. I'm, I'm driving, so I have the video off. Okay, so Chris, really quick, this have is the amazing life. couple that you asked to be on a call with a couple of weeks ago, Mr. Beige in Boston, and you already know they're doing big things. Beige is the woman that's been on uh, Dr. Phil. She's wrote several books. She's a life coach. They're sneeze away from chairman inside of this company. They're doing really, really big things. Topping your leadership board in that back office. Mr. Boston came with a whole lot of money in the bag in the financial industry and just took this thing by storm. So I'm so excited that you saw so much value to get on the call with this couple and their amazing team of 181 people and counting to hear from the CEO. So Beige and Boston, really quick, before he come on the line, I know y'all want to say something, Beige and Boston. Come on in real quick. The CEO is here. The CEO is here. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you know, you know. Uh, before Chris come on, because I want to give Chris a welcome. Rochelle, do you have my track? You have my track waiting, Rochelle? You got my track waiting? Rochelle, you still out there? Yes, yeah, sure. All right, so before we give Chris, before we give Chris the track, right? Before we give Chris the track, I want to really say something that's powerful because I know Chris is, is it, there's an anointing on Chris's uh, life, right? Mm -hmm. So I really want to say something to add to everything that was just said. I want to say to you guys, I need you guys to listen to this. It says, arise and shine for the light of the Lord has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. I want to make sure you guys understand. It said, behold, that darkness shall cover the earth, okay? And a gross not darkness, the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee. So I need you guys to understand something. All that has happened, ladies and gentlemen, all right? It was already said, but we will prevail. So the reason why Chris is on this call, the power for Chris coming on this call, go ahead, Rochelle, drop the Track. Drop the track because we New Yorkers here. I want to drop the track real quick so Chris can get the love that he deserved. This, this, the, the the billionaire, the man who has put it together, the empowerment. We respect you. We love you. Your tenacity, your drive. We just want to show the love. Rochelle, go ahead and drop the track so Chris can come on in. I want to hear it. Come on, everybody. Light it up. Come on, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Brooklyn, now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to De Niro, but I'll be hooked forever. I'm the new Sinatra, and since I made it here, I can make it anywhere. Yeah, they love me everywhere. I used to cop in Harlem, all of my Dominicanos right there up on Broadway. Brought me back to that McDonald's, took it to my stash spot, 560 State Street. Catch me in the kitchen like a Simmons whipping pastry. Cruising down 8th Street, off-white Lexus. Driving so slow, but BK is from Texas. Me, I'm up the bed stop, home of that boy. Biggie. Now I live on Billboard, and I brought my boys with me. Say what up to Tata, still sipping my tie. Sitting cold side, mix the nets, give me hot fives. Spiked out, I can trip a referee. Tell by my attitude that I'm most definitely for you. I like Chris Terry. One time for New York. Time for Chris Terry. You can pause it, you can pause it. We want to really bring in the man of the hour, the powerhouse. 
Dr. China, yes. listen, it's all about Christopher Terry. We love it. We love it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Bajan Boston. I really appreciate that. It was great speaking to you a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, we were talking about some business growth, and I was looking forward to getting on a call with them and their team. And I appreciate everybody inviting me on today. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not really the best at waking up in the morning. You see, I, I come from a world of trading. I used to trade around the clock, like literally 20 hours a day. And I would just wake up randomly, like whenever my body finished sleeping. Because I got, I, I got this mode of just trading all night long. So right now, it may be, I don't know, what time is it for you in uh, New York? 4.30? Um, it's, it's, uh, one thirty in Vegas. I'm in Vegas, but for me, it's about six o'clock in the morning, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> um, no, I truly appreciate you guys. And it's made me share a few words with you. And I talked about this yesterday and I'll just bring it up again. I talked about it on a call with, uh, two groups, um, a couple of Christian leaders and, a, a team, a church group out of Vegas. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit because I know a lot of people come into the markets. And I, I also want to thank China and Jewel and the whole family upline from there. Um, give everybody respect and, and, and gratitude. But I talked about something yesterday where in the Bible, God said to Moses, but he gave him a rod. He says, what's that in your hand? And he said, it's a rod. And I heard about this from T.J. Jakes. I, I didn't. I didn't make this up. This is what I heard from T.J. Jakes, except I morphed it into the I Am Academy version of it. And God said, uh, uh, "What's on your hand?" And Moses said, "It's a rod." He says, "Well, take that rod and throw it on the ground." And of course, he did that, and it turned into a snake. And Moses ran away because Moses he was a, he was a timid guy. He stuttered. He had no confidence in himself whatsoever. He was always scared. He didn't believe he could lead the people. He didn't believe he had what it took. And God said to him, here, let me show you the power that you have, that the people know who I am through you. He said, go up and pick up that snake by the tail. And Moses was like, I'm not picking that snake up by the tail. You pick up the snake by the tail. And God says, no, Moses, you know, I'll, I'll go to yell at you. Go, go pick up that, that snake by the tail. And Moses like, ah, I'm not going to go pick up the snake by the tail. He said, yes, he was. They're arguing, you know. So anyway, God said to him, listen, tell you what, uh, trust me. And Moses says, okay, I trust you. He picks up the snake by the tail. It turns into a rod. And Moses is like, wow. So God said to him, look, put your hand on your chest. He put his hand on his chest and he take it out. And it was completely white. And he said, put it back. And take it out again. It was normal. He said, I'm giving you a couple of tricks, a couple of uh, things to show the people that this is more than you. He said, with this, well, what do you have in your hand? It's not just a rod, it's power. You may have fear of the snake, but really, that's your power. And the markets, for us, when we first look at it, that's the snake. We're scared of it. Lines are moving all over the place. Numbers are jumping. Everybody's talking about these letters, E-U-A-U, -E -E you know, Bitcoin. And people are like, what is going on? And their friends are telling them, hey, you're going to lose money with this. You're going to lose your money. I have friends that lost their money in the markets. And then they say, well, Bitcoin was at 20000 Went down to 3000 You could have lost your shirt. And Forex, you leverage it. You could lose everything. And people get scared. They're scared to do anything. When people are scared, they do nothing. And relating that to the Bible, you tell your people, get in front of that computer. What do you have in what do you have in front of you? And they're like, This is the snake. And you say, No, you hold that power. Once you get educated, the education is the rod. The snake is the market in the beginning. The education is the rod that you can take and show your people, look, you're scared now, but let me show you what I can do. 
and you show them that you can profit. You show them that you can uh, maybe call a trade. You show them that there's power in what we're doing and education. And you don't force them to trade to say, look, let's just study a little bit. Let's just get on the calls with Mike Miles and Christopher and Derek and all and all the other uh, educators. I don't even know who we got at this point. We got 150 of them. And you get them to slowly look at it and you say to them, now what do you got in your hand? And they say, I got the power. I got the power to change my life. I got the power to change my family's life because now they understand. So in the beginning, yes, there's fear of that snake and there's fear of the market. But at some point, they will become a leader. They will lead the people like Baja and Boston have. When they came in the, in the business, they weren't confident. They didn't trade like I did. They didn't make millions of dollars. But in what we do, but this is now their power. They lined with what they do outside of it and with them and their belief and their faith. And now this is their power to lead others as you have a team here. Same thing with jewels, same thing with China. They knew nothing about the markets. They were pure network marketers. Next thing you know, they're doing the rich girls this and the wealthy girls that and the beautiful girls this and they figured it out and they had this powerful methodology they put together. I know Jewel does a lot, a lot of real estate, which I love. China does real estate, which I love. But it all started with the snake that they were scared of the market. And now they have the power to lead thousands. And Jewel, congratulations hitting the Chairman 100. And China's right behind her. Guys, the markets are the power for you. So, and you know, you're a team of faith and and sometimes we question ourselves, but we say, God has us protected. You say that, God has us protected. You started off here with half a sermon. So I'm going all in with you. I'm taking it and running with it. So if God has you protected, then why you have such little faith sometimes in yourself? And don't tell me you don't, because if so, you would be a chairman 10 already. You would be a chairman 25. What it is, is we have fear. And we sometimes forget where the power comes from. Is the man above knows every hair on your head. He knows every step you're going to take. He knows where you're going to drive. Yes, you have free will, but he already knows the score at the end of the game. That's why God doesn't watch sports. He doesn't bet on sports because he knows the score of the end of the game. You have to have faith in yourself to believe that you will be a success. You have to put it in your mind. You have to continuously speak to yourself. So they say, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. His heart is not his physical heart. His heart is his conscience, his subconscious. When you learn to program yourself at a level that your subconscious is continuously speaking success, 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 and talking about being a success and attracting success, there you are. As you think it in your subconscious, so are you. You have to have the image in your head of leading the people. You may only have 10 people in your team now, but picture those 10 people times 10. You can't picture the 10 people say, I got 10 people. You have to say, I have 100 people. I have to have 100. I have 100. I can see it. Because if I gave you a million dollars, if I say, show me what a million dollars look like, and I'll give it to you. You couldn't tell me. What are you going to do? You're going to show me the meme with the, the vault with a bunch of cash? Dry, diamond? What are you going to show me? What Jewel can show me now is that she has seven to 10,000 people on her team. She's a chairman 100, that equates to 120,000, 125,000 a month. That's 1.3 million a year. Jules' team is where the wealth is because she has went out and served and served and served and continues to serve and the wealth is coming because of the fact that she served, not in the form of money, but in the form of people that translate at the end of the day to business and money. If 
she was not a person who could be trusted. She would not have anybody on her team, neither would China, neither would Baja or Boston. So your vision right now should be yourself, your team. Because if you are a Platinum 600, act as if, do the work, even if the people are not there. Get on a webinar. If you have nobody on your team, get on a webinar and do a freaking webinar and share that webinar to the people, even though they're not there yet physically. But if you don't do the work, the people are never going to come. Remember Fields of Dreams? If you build it, they will come. If you do the webinars, somebody's eventually going to listen. I don't care if they stumble in there by mistake. You will do it. I, when I started this company, it was me, myself, and I, all three of us. And I get a webinar every morning and I teach all three of us. And I talk about market movements and price action and Fibonacci and this and that. And we're taking a lunch break, everybody relax. And I'll do a mindset call with myself. Because I saw a million people. I have a vision of a million people. I've raised that to five million now. So why not you? That market is the snake. The network marketing is a stake, but it holds the power to lead the people. So right now, look at the markets, look at network marketing as the power for you to lead others, which will translate to the more people you help, the more people you serve will increase your net worth. You know what I'm doing today because I'm bored? I'm going to go buy a Ferrari. Now, most people save up. They look, they get a Ferrari. You know, no, this is like my third or fourth Ferrari I have. I don't know how many I got. I got like 14 supercars. My friend, I saw it on his website. He had a new Ferrari that came in, in his dealership. And I said, hold on, I'm coming over. And he said, nah, I got a Porsche Taycan. It's electric. It's better than the Tesla. I was like, yeah, give me that one too. That's the kind of day I want you to have. The kind of day I want you to have that just got offered a $4 million mansion for two and a half million. Because the people are stuck and they grab the broker and the broker called me and says, I'll get you into it. You got the cash? I said, I got the cash. He goes, two and a half million is valued at four and a half million. They owe two and a half million. They just want to get out. They can't sell it. They're, they're starving. The coronavirus has destroyed them. No problem. Today I'm wiring. Well, Monday I'm wiring the whole amount. That's my house I just made on a two and a half million dollar investment. I just made $2 million profit. That's how I want you to live. Everything for me is a power. Nothing is a stake anymore. And I speak it all the time. You got to speak what you want, not what you have. Speak what you want and you don't have. Most people talk about what they have and they don't want. I have this. I have that. Yeah, you're stupid. Shut up. And I'm saying that in a positive way. All right. Say what you want. Say what you want. You should be talking about, I have a $100,000 trading account. I have 500 people on my team. I am a chairman 10. I am a winner. I am, the name of the company is I am. I created this name of this brand in the self, in a form of an affirmation in giving it up above the I am is all one. Energy and God are basically, God created energy. Okay, energy is all over the place. And he, he gave us the knowledge to work with energy. And energy vibrates at different levels. And those vibrations, the faster they vibrate, the different frequency it creates. So right now, you could turn on a radio station and hear one song, you tr change the radio station, you hear another song. You can't see energy, you can't see frequencies, you can't see air, you could smell garlic cooking, right? Somebody's cooking garlic in a nice, you can smell it, but you can't see it. It's there. It's in a form of energy. So you have to train your brain energetically. You have to speak what you want, not what you have, not what you don't want. Speak what you want and train your brain to think and that make that your heart. As you think it in your heart, as I said before, so are you. I am a chairman. I am, I am, I am, I attract. I did a webinar, I think it was yesterday, the day before, 
that was put out. If you haven't seen it, go to the Go Live section of the website and have an hour and a half talk on energies and vibrations and everything. But I just, uh, I'm grateful. But just know, you have the power. God has given you the power. Don't have little faith in yourself, but say you have lots of faith in the man above. You're canceling it out. If you believe in the man above has the power, you're just a vehicle, man. You're just a vehicle to where you want to go. You got to trust. Don't try to force things. When I want something, I just put it out there and it comes. Why? Because I'm leveraging the power that we're all given. Not my power. Not my power whatsoever. But I'm leveraging the power that's offered to us. Too many of us try to do it on our own. Can't do it on our own. So have faith in the man upstairs. If you have the faith in the man upstairs, have the knowledge that you will be a success, hands down. I'm going to let it go back to Julie, China, and Baja, and Boston, and the whole team. Thank you so much. I love every one of you. We love you too, Chris. And we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We can only imagine the doors you had to knock on and knock down for us to be here. So I thank you for opening the door for 5 billion people, baby. Woo! <laughs> yes, yes. That's yes. big. That's big. And we, we so appreciate everything that you continue to do. Just, just your pilgrimage. It's uh, such an awesome thing for us. So just by you taking the appreciate you, appreciate you. really pour into mm -hmm. us, we appreciate you, Chris. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to hold, hold on, hold on one more thing. I forgot to thank China also at the end. China, because I know if I don't say that, I'm getting a call a nanosecond after it shuts down. Chris! <laughs> Chris, thank you already you, thanked me, so you already and, thanked me. And, we have another leader on, though, Miss Dawn Million Dollar Wilson, who's doing big things. So you can thank Miss Dawn Million Dollar Wilson for being here. Yeah, Ms. thank you, Dawn. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Dawn Million Dollar, we appreciate you. Wait, 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 hold on a second, Dawn. You better change that name, girlfriend. What <laughs> Dawn Million Dollar? Dawn uh -oh. Billion Dollar. Hey. Out of the now. Um, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> All yes, right, yeah. now I'm loving it. Billy, yeah. that's done. it. <laughs> change it to Dawn Billion Dollar Wilson. Let's go, Dawn. Let's Woo, let's get Billion it. Dollar Wilson. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, you know, we, we really, we're, we're so thankful for all the leadership. Uh, Don has been such a catalyst, mm -hmm. uh, such uh, someone to not only rub shoulders with and, and sharpen us up, but uh, as, a, as a mentor along the process, I think we just went back and forth with each other as we grow. And uh, I really just want to appreciate all the leadership on the call. Uh, I really want to highlight, uh, like Dr. China, we, I want to highlight you for, for being here and just really uh, working with us as a unit to, to get Chris on this call. As he said, hey, look, I want to do a call with Beijing in Boston. So we really want to just show that highlight and, and really be grateful because I think the journey is so phenomenal. But Don Million Dollar Wilson, I really want you to speak on this because now you're Don Billion Dollar Wilson. That's right. So yeah. now that you're Don Billion Dollar, uh, go ahead and speak on this billion. <laughs> Said, you got You already know what that means, girl. We going right. to stamp, stamp, sign, seal, and deliver. CEO said it. Sign, seal, and deliver. Man, I'm just happy to see everybody come together. And you know, just thankful for the leadership, Dr. China, Dr. Jewel, really having the consistency, the determination, and the persistence. Like Dr. China said earlier, you know, even when it's up and when it's down, God's people join our team. We lose team members. We lose legs. We lose people all the time. People tell us they're going to show up. They don't come, you know. So to see what these ladies have done over the last four years and still maintain and come out victorious, just let us know that at the end of the day, we don't have no victim on this call. We don't have no victims on this call. All we have is champs, not chumps. We got winners, not whiners. So what I want you guys to do is take lead from the leadership and become victorious in your own castle, in your own home, and your own community so we can shut this thing down. Beige and Boston, you already know. The power couple, guys, listen, salutes to your mentorship 
that you committed to do and have not backed down from every single day of the week, the mentorship, the coaching, the leading the team, the holding their hand, Beige personally one-on-one giving her phone number out to over 600 people saying, hey, call me if you need me. No member left behind. No one left behind. We're going to make sure that when the smoke clear, we all come out on the right side of money and pass the Boston over there, pass the Boston going preach. He going to teach. He going to love. He going to hug. Listen, we're going to fight. But at the end of the day, we know that at the end of the day, our mission is to make sure every single person on this call become a six or a seven-figure trader, or definitely a Chairman 500 on this platform. So with that being said, Beijing Boston, Dr. China, Dr. Jewel, CEO, listen, this is just the beginning. I'm looking forward to next year at the convention celebrate everybody on this call as six- and seven-figure income earners, whether it's with trading, Chairman 100, or above, already done. Back to you guys. That's right. That's right. In closing, I hope this inspired you guys for some of you who are, who were on the fence, you know, thinking, did I do the right thing? Am I making the right decision? You are like, and it's an amazing feeling to know you are the right person in the right space at the right time. Ooh. I know I'm here for a reason and I'm here for y'all. So you guys need to use us. Like Don said, no one left behind. If you feel confused, if you feel, you know, out of place, if you need an accountability partner, you, you text us, you call us. I don't care who invited you to the business. I'm writing down my number again. And um, if there were any guests on, get back to the person who invited you and ask them for a formal presentation on how you can get started. But I'm super excited. I love each and every one of y'all. I'm, I'm excited to see some trade and testimonies in the next six months, in the next year. Let's go. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and go with this as you guys leave, right? His vision was a million people. Mm. But then the vision grew and shipped to five million. Five million. Now, I don't know about you all. It tells me that we're in infancy. And as Bae says, remember I said, she said, right place, right time. I said, time will meet preparation. Preparation meets time. So I hope to see you guys at my two favorite places because we will get back there. And that's the beach. And then, of course, the next one is the bank. So we love y'all. Uh, we, we thank you guys, Dr. China. Thank you, Beige. Uh, thank you, Don Boston. Williams. Yes, we love you guys. Yes. Hey, awesome, Rob. Awesome. Awesome. Dawn does her free Forex call twice a day. So the next one is at 10 p.m. So um, Deanne or Rochelle, if you are there, can you drop the link in the chat? If you know any friends who want to join, lock arms and serve with us or just trade from home, don't hesitate to invite them. We're going to um, stay on a little bit until somebody drops that link in the chat and invite them on at 10. We, we love see, seeing the team grow. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and hello to Rob. Hello to Troy. Hello to uh, Zabion, uh, Jamal, you know, Miss Tees, uh, Slick, Marlene, Jenny. you know, Toriana, uh, you know, Steven, Sheila. You know, we see you guys. We want to make sure that you guys understand it's just a lot of love. Miss you T, know, me, uh, me. That's right, Isaac. Okay, uh, I see the Iron Diva out there, Mr. Parker, Rachel. Yes, yeah. we see the whole squad out there moving. Trey King, Trey King, Miss Amy, all the way from the UK. Oh my God, so many of you guys, so much love. Miss Stephanie, oh my God, Thomas. Wow, I mean, wow. Everybody Roosevelt is on just this. hit piece. The Roosevelt. Woo! Yeah. And Kevin, shouts out to Kevin knocking out that 150. I see Mikael on here, Marlene, yeah. Marshall. Listen. The whole squad, guys, Market Breaks is in the building. Absolutely love you guys. Letitia, Lauren, I see you guys out there. It's NBA still holding it down. All right, guys, listen, Juliet and Jenny, thank you guys. All Our Wolves, G. Lachey, thank you guys. Mr. Eli, yes, thank you guys. I want to thank everybody who participate in this movement. Miss Amaya, Miss Jantasia for chipping in with that free class, guys. This is a movement. And as Bay said earlier, it takes everybody on the team to make it happen. So I just want to make sure we show some love. If I forgot somebody, guys, blame it on my mind, not my heart. You know, <laughs> listen, it's time for me to go get my snacks. So thank you guys again. <laughs> Best team ever. Absolutely. Back to you, Bay Jim Boston. Yeah. We love y'all. So go in 
the academy, study, take notes. Let's get this money. It's too much money out here. Like only a few trillion dollars a day. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So we love y'all. Let's continue to be intentional, guys. And uh, let's continue winning. Thank you for spending your afternoon with us. Uh, we, 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 we took it really. It's special because it's a special day for my wife and I. Uh, we chose not to add it into all of this, but it's a special day, a very special day. For some of you, if you remember, I said my birthday is in the beginning of the month and at the end of the month, and we got to celebrate something else. So today is that day that we're celebrating the many years of us being together. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to impose it, but I want to tell you God is faithful. Let's hey, crush it. Hey. Hey, yes. Happy yes. anniversary. Yes. You feel me? Congratulations. Yes. yes. You know happy what I mean? Happy anniversary to the power couple. Yes. Yes. So, yes. so you know, we work in million dollars. Again. We work it. Yes. Yes. Nowhere to go from here but up, guys. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. it. So, listen, I'm going to get used to saying uh, billion dollar because I got to right. Billy, Billy over here, all right? Billion dollar. So Don, billion dollar. So everybody, it's billion dollar from now on, okay? That's right. Billion dollar, billion. okay? Yeah, we love it. We love it, man. We love you guys. Thank you again for writing with Don, me, Beige. Uh, shout out to, again, Dr. China, Dr. Jewel, and Mr. Terry himself for really it, joining and just dropping those nuggets. And it was so big, guys. It was so big. I love it. Every move he makes is a move that will allow him to catapult forward. And that is what you need to, to take away. Take away this. No limitations. That's what it is. We love y'all. We love you guys. Deanne, drop some music for us. Drop some music for us, Deanne. Can we get some music? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the stores. You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who you drop, drop. Two most he goes down to the blue drop. The same old pimp, mace, you know ain't nothing changed. But when I'm just happy to keep my name on the blimp, guarantee me it sounds full of love and love. You don't believe I'm all the world, double up. We don't play around, it's a bet, lay it down. Didn't know me 91, bet they know me now. I'm the young Harlem with the Goldie sound. Can't no PD, hold me down, cooler. School me to the game, now I know my duty. Stay humble, stay low, blow like Woody. True pimp, spin no dough on the booty. Don't you yell, we go mace, there go your cutie. Love y'all, y'all be blessed. We all too. We out of here.